Ball in the color! Oh! This is going to be a big one. Carvajal. That's brilliant up in Meccano, boy! No, reset, lads, reset. Meccano's dead. Get up, up in Meccano, will ya? <laughs> Who's next? Oh! Back to back to back to back! Back to back to back to back! Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, lads. And the look is in for Christmas, man. Number seven, Ronaldo. And then number seven, Kante. Boom! Oh, beautiful. Oh, he's done it again. He's done it again, the Anaconda. He's done it again. Look at him. Look at this, man. Cheeky chips. 83 finishing, lads. He finishes like 103. That's Tommy, I assume. Not, not easily, anyway. Go on, Mbappe. You've got the pace. A good pass. Oh! Oh, what a pass! What a pass! We've seen it like a few times now today where there's been a, a chance or two that have separated these teams, exactly. and that's it. You know, they're low scoring. 
What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Look at the hair, lads. It's still not getting cut. I'm not cutting this hair until they fix the passing in eFootball, man. I'm not cutting my hair. That's my vow. I'm not getting my hair cut. The skin fade can stay long. I'm not getting it cut, lads. It's sticking up everywhere. It's sticking up everywhere, lads. It's like collar in Santa Panza. But listen, we're back. We're going to be streaming a little bit today. Don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, we do have a couple of things to talk about. Fairly disappointed with V3.5. I don't know what your thoughts are. We'll go through the comments in a second. Um, but let me know in just one, one word your thoughts on V3.5 so far. Ron, El Padrino, AB Roma, Prince back in the chat. Uh, Chalez is back in the chat. Gary, welcome in, brother. The Skin, Neil James, Fred. Uh, who else is there? Loki is there. Jack is here. Dimitri is here. AJ, D JS, Sonic Boom. Amon Coster, uh, Big Toe, Mark, Duff Play, Fistos, mm, who else? Nowlers, a couple of new guys in here, a couple of regulars as well as we always have. Uh, who else is there, lads? Who else is there? I can't see. Christoph is there as well. Uh, Saul is there. Chiba is there. Uh, Andrew Nisbet is there as well. Welcome in, brother. Nuisance is there. Shurav is there. Uh, who else? There's a load of you there, lads. Ola is there. Um, but lads, listen, right? I just feel, man, that this this game at the moment, Luke, welcome in, brother. J Project, welcome in as well. Steven, welcome in, brother. Ian Titley, welcome in as well. Yeah, listen, lads, I feel like that that V3.5 is definitely just a stopgap. I honestly feel like that V3.5 is uh is it was literally just to load assets. That's all it was, in my opinion. Um, now usually they do change things like gameplay tweaks and stuff like that. I've heard some good and I've heard some bad, but I've heard that it's 95% the same. So yeah, who's that kicking yeah. us off? Gary Griffin, club president, starting to get serious now. Thank you, brother. Appreciate the support as always, man. And as I said, for members, very soon we're going to have some cool perks coming for members. Um, we're going to have a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing. I'm in the process of updating my stream and overhauling my stream uh, over the summer, but yeah, we just have a few things to, to do before, but we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Um, we could do it like a week, just up, upgrading the stream and that, but yeah, look, I mean, probably the highlight at the moment, lads, is the fact that, like, they have exactly told us, they've, they've told us exactly what V3.5 is, um, which in my opinion, I didn't really see this coming, I thought that we would get gameplay tweaks, I definitely thought that they were going to tone down the aggressiveness with the AI, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I'm somebody that plays this game. I stream every match I play. Um, you know how much I play this game. You know how much content I put out. But I just feel like maybe people are happy with the gameplay. Maybe the majority of people are happy with the craziness. Maybe people are happy just to keep buying players and uh, having 40, 50 interceptions a game. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, from my opinion in and from where I'm sitting... Uh, the gameplay is not is not good enough at the moment. It's too crazy. You can control the game, but it takes massive, massive effort. Like, I always come back to it. Games should be fun. And if you want to go that extra extra tier to be like esports or you want to be that, then that requires the serious graft and the serious sit down and learn everything about the game mentality. I just feel like you need to have that in your arsenal now just to compete casually. You know, if you're playing against somebody that literally only plays an hour or two a week, he can give you a serious, serious challenge, you know? I actually find now, and I don't know, is it just me? I actually nearly find it's more difficult to play against a guy that doesn't really know how the game works. Like a kind of a newcomer type guy that will do a lot of uh, team press and a lot of letting the AI do everything than somebody that's doing a lot of manual stuff. When I see somebody manual goalkeeping or manual defending, I kind of know that I'm going to get a good game out of him and I might be able to beat him, even if they're Division 1. You know, we got a beat a guy the last day, he was top 400 in the world, um, and then we struggled against somebody that was Division 3. Like, you still win the games, but yeah, I just feel the gameplay at the moment, there's a lack of control there. Um, but everyone's different, man. I think the dribbling is fantastic. Some people think the dribbling is bad. I think the AI is so aggressive. Some people don't think it's aggressive enough. I don't know, man. I don't know what you guys think. We'll go through them all here. We'll go through all the, the messages. Eddie, what's up, Ahmed? What's up? Lou, welcome up. Welcome in as well. Um, yeah, Lou, to be honest with you, brother, I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. Do you know what's the hardest part, right? The hardest part, give your GGs to Gary, lads, for becoming club president as well. The the, the presidential campaign, I think, is, is heating up again. Uh, but do you know what's the problem? Bibik, welcome in as well, bro. Um, I feel like that the hype at this game is not 
it's not like we can't do anything about it as content creators. You know what I mean? Like the game at the moment is cards and it's playing games. Playing games where there's no reward. So if that doesn't interest you, it's kind of hard to get hyped for it, you know? Now, as I said, I love playing the game. I love the crack. We love having the banter on the stream. But that's kind of separate to the game. You know, the game is just kind of the, the thing that gets us together, gets us all in the room. Um, but yeah, listen, this is what they've updated, right? This is everything that they've said. There's no gameplay tweaks. There's nothing. Um, now, they seem to have, right? There's a lot of new epics that have been added. So this is from Twitter, a guy called JD Facemaker, I think. Um, this is from Twitter. So you can see the top from top left there to the top right. You actually have some of these players already in. These are all going to be within the next two to three weeks going into the next season. Um, so you have Kimmich, you have Romario, you have Ritz, you have all of those guys that are in the game here currently. If you missed out on any of those players before, you also have from top left here with this image, you have Kimmich, who's here. Um, this Kimmich here. You also have, say, the Kimmich from the left there. You also have Chuamene and all of these players that you see here, Daku, all of them. Now, what's interesting is as you go down the list, you're going to have a couple of new new faces there or new boosters, right? Um, so you've got Casillas, you've got Davids from Juventus, you've got Kaká, you've got, it looks to be like, I don't know, is that Brazilian Kaká? Because they do have the license to AC Milan. So I'm not too sure is that Real Madrid Kaká actually in the white. That's probably Real Madrid uh, kind of like Galactico Kaká. You've got Iniesta in the Barcelona kit. You've got Torres in the Spanish kit. You've got a couple of the Japanese new players as well. Frank Ribery, David Villa. David Villa looks like he's from his Valencia days. You've got Philip Lamb, who's finally been added to the database. You've got Diego Forlan, Van Basten. You've got the new Romario as well down at the bottom, third in from the bottom or fourth in from the bottom. That is that Romario here that we have uh, in the game here. So this Romario is free no he's not free who was telling me in the chat last week that Romario was free 100% trust me yeah I told you that he wouldn't be free I, I didn't think he would be free uh I never really debunk or you know I, there's no point man if I tell people that Romario is not going to be coming for free people won't believe it you know you're better off saying yeah Romario's free Romario's free guaranteed take it to the bookies and bet bet that Romario's going to be free and then when he turns out not to be free nobody calls anybody out for it anyway so I knew Romario wasn't going to be free. Uh, they're not going to release a card, right? Just think of it from a business point of view, right? Think of it from a business point of view, boys, okay? They brought out Saviola, who is in a 150 pack, okay? This Saviola in a 150 pack. If somebody's not going to spin for Saviola, right, who is pretty much an identical player, right? You've got agility plus two, and you've got 87 acceleration, 84 balance. If somebody's not going to spin for Saviola, how are they going to get you? They're going to get you by adding a Romario to the database here that has got 31 levels. He's down here as well as a Fox in the Box with shooting plus two. So you're going to have a really beastly player without having to go super, super deep. I've seen people get Romario on their free spin and we could actually get him in our free spin here. I don't think we will, but let me know if you've got any Romario, if you've got a Romario, lads, and what builds you went for. Oh, we got, we got Romario, lads. Yes! Terrible, man. Terrible getting the bin. I don't even want the GP out of you, Valencia. Um, let me know what build. If somebody wants to send me a build on PSN, uh, send me the build for a Mario. Because for me, personally, I don't need to, man. When I have a Mario, this Mario, and I've got the booster Mario, I haven't even trained him up. But look at the options I have at my disposal. Now, as I said, and I keep saying it, I'm in a very privileged position that you guys support the streams. Everything I earn goes back into the stream. So that's why I have a beastly squad um, you know, that's not expected out of everybody to have this, this beastly squad. We get donations, we get, you know, obviously YouTube money that we throw back into the stream. If it's not off stream, such as upgrading my PC or getting capture cards and whatever, um, and upgrading that or paying with graphics or anything like that, it's always going to go back into the stream. But like we have Saviola in here, 101 overall with 98 balance, 91 finishing, 91 tight possession, 102 acceleration. We've got Messi up here, 99 acceleration, 103 tight possession. Also on top of that, we do have, of course, Romario, the main Romario that we have here. So this Romario, what am I doing? We have, we have so many options up front, including a Romario that we haven't even trained back up yet. And we've got two versions of Romario, but we do have the main version of Romario here with our 60 progression points. And no, there is not a free progression uh, reset, lads. 
<clears throat> it's not done anymore. It's not there anymore. Oh, I'm just going to train up her Mario very, very easily here uh, just to show you that there is no free reset, lads. There is no free reset at all. Look, and again, that's something that I just, I don't know. I don't know what they're playing at with the free reset. The gameplay has changed so much since the last um, reset, honestly. Yeah, boys, we did watch the Madrid match last night. I was actually playing football last night myself. We didn't get home till the penalties. Um, and yeah, I mean, Madrid are just able to, to just to win games, lads. That's basically what it is. Should I go for Mario if I've never had him? Uh, Prince, I will be. I am working on a dribbling tutorial as well, Prince. Don't worry, bro. Uh, Talis, I'm good, brother. <clears throat> Gary, the passing at the moment, bro, it's not you, man. It's, it's the game. It's like when you're with a girl, man, and they say, like, it's not you, it's me. In reality, they actually mean it is you. The passing is the problem, man. It's not you. Honestly, it's the way the game is designed. I've showed this hundreds of times in the last few streams. The game is designed for there to be a lot of rebounds, a lot of 50-50s, and a lot of interceptions. That's where the gameplay is designed at the moment. You know, Stevie Wonder can see that there's an issue with the balancing in terms of the possession that you have and how hard it is to retain possession. Usually, if you're a really good player and you have 70% possession, you will still have to face three or four shots that are kind of from unforced errors, like that you get turned over in possession, whether there's input delay, whether you just hold on to the ball a little bit too long, whether you mess up a skill move or a dribble. It's not you, man, honestly. Everyone's having tr trouble with the passing. <clears throat> the AI at, is aggressive at times, or yeah, of course, man, it's way too aggressive. Way too aggressive. Yeah, look, everyone is going to be hyped about cards, man. Obviously, Iniesta, Torres, David Villa... Uh, you know, Kaka, there's a lot of new cards that are going to come, and that's never something that I would ever worry about with cards. You know, I would never worry about there being hype with cards, because all Konami need to do to dissipate a lot of the disappointment with eFootball 2025, and to get a bit of hype going for that, is to add Ronaldo R9, to add Henri, to add Zidane, to add like a prime David Beckham, to add new legend cards, you know, like 110 overall Beckham, and people will eat it up, man, people will love that. People love boosters, including me. I'm not going to apologize for enjoying playing with Romario and co. You know, I'm just not. Thomas Lev, welcome in. Chiba, from what, I've, from what I've been told, bro, and again, this is something, again, you don't know exactly why they're not doing the free player reset. You might never, like, get a definitive answer. But from what I've been told is they usually only bring the free resets when they do a big gameplay change. And even though the gameplay has changed a good bit since the last free reset... Maybe it hasn't changed enough, but I honestly feel with the release and the delay of V3.4 and then upgraded that there was such a small time frame between V3.4 and V3.5, I reckon V3.5 was meant to come out now with a lot of changes, but they're probably going to roll them into V3.6 because how many more updates are we going to get? How many more updates are we actually going to get before eFootball 2025? Yeah, Lou, and just see, the problem is as well, is like, I've asked the question, why not give us, uh, why not give us the GP? Why not give us max GP? You know? Yeah, there is nothing new, lads. There is nothing new here apart from the cards. That's, that's obviously it. You know, that is obviously it, the cards here. And to be honest with you, lads, I'm not going to spin. If one of you guys have this and you can send me a build of our Mario on PSN or whatever, um... I'll, I'll have a look at the build and I'll recommend the build and I'll do another I'll do a, a training build as well when we're not streaming later on tonight but for me it's going to be simple it's going to be simple with Romario I'd be pro probably popping 10 into 10 into dexterity um I would probably pop yeah maybe 10 into no I would probably pop I would probably pop 12 into dexterity for that probably 12 points into dexterity Probably 10 points into low uh, body, lower body strength, and then the rest into dribbling and finishing, depending on how good you are as a finisher. Finishing at the moment with 85 or Mario is probably more than enough, which you'll get with the manager boost and his boost. So you only need to pop in one or two into finishing, or three into finishing to get 90. Ball control and tight possession is where I would go. Dribbling is where I'd go with this for Mario because he's running good. The new Euro kits, yeah, they've added new Euro kits as well. Yeah, they have. They have added new Euro kits. And they've changed as well how they've actually added up these cards. So they're adding these cards now asset first. They used to add the stats first. Now they're doing asset first. Because they, you know, they obviously know that people are able to like look at the cards and stuff like that. 
Um, that's one thing. I think that it would be hype if if there was a case of imagine imagine just launch week of eFootball 2025. I know we're getting way off, but like imagine if you could buy like a Ronaldo version of the game, like R9 or Prime Cristiano Ronaldo version of the game, where it comes with like a booster Cristiano Ronaldo that you could train up over the course of the season to go from like level 90 to level 95 after 100 goals scored. You score 200 goals, he goes up to level 98 and so on and so forth. There's lots of new things that they could done. Uh, Realm, probably not a late night stream, man. No. Well, Jonah, I mean, as I said, everyone's entitled to spend the money however that they want, man. You know, gaming is subjective to what you want to put into it. I know people that spend 500 quid a month on video games um, that play, you know, Fortnite and buying the box and they're playing eFootball. I know guys that spend 500 quid a month. You might believe that, but I do. I also know guys that haven't put one single cent of their own money into eFootball since eFootball became eFootball or Pez became eFootball. They've also re-released -re these boosters as well, lads. Yo, shoot, what's up, brother? Yeah, they've changed it, Alex. I mean, that they obviously are looking at, at what they're going to do with the players. You know? They obviously are looking at what people are doing and how they're able to see him. Lads, what about Bernardo Silva penalty, penalty last night? Oh, my God. Probably the worst penalty I've ever seen in my life. It was absolutely horrible, man. It was horrible. It, I was watching it on my mobile phone. Like, I was sitting in, in the car on the way home. I wasn't driving, obviously. I was getting a lift back from footy because I had football last night. And I just saw the penalty. I was like, oh my days. What a bad penalty, man. Terrible. Yeah, they've added the Euro kits. Yeah, they have. What's your favorite Euro kit that they've added, lads? I might actually change my jerseys. You're 45 pounds deep. Yeah, but listen, there's no... Don't ever let somebody make you feel bad for spending money in this game. You make... You spend your money how you want to spend your money. I mean, people, people, people counting what's in my pocket or people counting what's in your pocket. I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It, it's like, I always say that as well. I know people that buy five, six video games, you know, every year and they'll leave them sitting on the, on, collecting dust. Akara, welcome in, bro. Welcome in. Bernardo will never shoot a penalty again. Oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. And I did call that Bayern were going to turn over Arsenal, lads. Any Arsenal fans in the chat, disappointing. I didn't see any of the game because, I was, as I said, I, I was at football. But I, I had a feeling that Bayern would just turn over Arsenal from the last day. I just thought Arsenal looked a little bit kind of frustrated the last day. They got a few calls against them. And Bayern are just winners, man. Bayern are just able to do it. I don't think Bayern will win it, though. I think Madrid will go on to win it now. RPSG. Lucas El Presidente, what's up brother, what's up man, the Belgian away kit, yeah I mean there's some nice kits that they've added, and obviously if anyone's new in the chat and they don't know how to change kit, it's very very easy, uh, you just go into your game plan here and you change the kit, so for example we have Italy at the moment, but if you go to base team settings you can do it, Lucas what you think of the game bro, we're good today man, we're good, I'm just disappointed Lucas, honestly, I'm disappointed that there is nothing really to be hyped about, I mean, we've nearly, you know, we've 300 people in the chat here. It's unbelievable, and I love streaming to you guys, but I think this game is kind of holding us back, uh, you know, content creator-wise, because, you know, it's the same thing now for a couple of months, and the gameplay, if the gameplay was phenomenally good, like if it was unbelievable, then you could kind of get away with it a little bit. Um, but at the moment, it's a bit disappointing. We scored one last night, man. We got, we scored, we scored one last night, um, I scored one goal last night, and I set up two, I think. But I was playing, lads, I was playing CB last night. I was like Cannavaro. <laughs> I was digging in. But, uh, yeah, it was fun, man. It's just on AstroTurf, so it's all underground. OC, welcome in, brother. OC, do you have a bill for Romario? Send me on PSN, and we can chat, man. We can chat about it. Um, we can, I can show the stream your bill that you put for him. I, I think I put, I would put 12 into Dexterity, Probably five into finishing to get it up to 90 finishing, whatever that is. And then the rest into dribbling and lower body strength. And yeah, if you want to check your if you want to check your strips, then you literally just go into that. And there's the kits that they've added. And then these are all your bonus kits that you've either bought. Lou Colo is obviously our kit man. He gets us all the kits. Um, but they are the kits there and you can obviously see them in there. 
Uh, Prince, what do you mean which trainer is best for leveling up? I would probably say do the method. I have a video on my YouTube channel if you want to search for that or if somebody can link you. Let me see if I can link it here. Easy way to easy way to get XP. Very, very easy way to get XP. Um, I will link you here, man. This is the this is the the best the best way of doing it, I would say. I'll show you this if anyone doesn't know about this one. This is by far the easiest way of doing it. What other kits do you like? What other kits do you like? All right, OC, let me see your bill, bro. No pressure now. Okay. 89 acceleration, 97 balance, 95 ball control, 89 type possession, 89 finishing. That's obviously which formation you're using, OC. Quick counter, Jabby. Balance is high, type possession, 99 attack and awareness. Yeah, he's not a good version of Romario, boys. Yo, Ola, welcome in. No, he's not. The older Mario is better, in my opinion. Prince, check out that one, bro. That is the that is the easiest and fastest way to do it. Kara says, check out the Germany kit. We will do so. We will do so. When Kara when Kara tells me to do something, lads, I just do it. I I just don't even question it. I don't even question it. It's like when the missus tells me to so do something. I don't even ask questions. I don't fight. I just accept my fate. Oh, a long ball counter, OC. Okay, yeah, that's when Ten Hag. So would you get an extra boost then with a Xabi Alonso? You would. So you'd go 90 with the Romario build that you had there. 90 acceleration, 90 finishing. Oh, see, I don't even think Ireland has the license, bro. I could be wrong. I'll check. It's the Germany kit. You can't zoom in. That's not a bad kit, though, man. I'm. Do you know what, lads? My guilty pleasure is a really colourful kit. I don't know why. Now, white is always nice. I like the I like the pattern there on that. Not too gone on the shirt or on the shorts. Oh my god, the Adidas logo is massive on it, man. It's massive. Unreal. Figo is cooking. We have a video coming on Figo on Saviola. We have our player of the week. We I have six videos ready to go for the weekend. We have a new meta video coming. We have a Xabi Alonso review. We have a beaten the meta, anti-meta video coming. We also have the player of the week selection review. And then I have a Saviola and Figo review and build video with them as well. Because I think Saviola and Figo are fantastic players. What other kits did you say, lads? Norway. We can try Norway. I don't even think Ireland are in the... They are They are in the game, but I don't think that they have the kits. I could be wrong now. I could be wrong. No, they don't. They're generic kits, which is an absolute disgrace, man. Absolute disgrace. I don't know why they couldn't afford... I'd say they get the license to Ireland for about 50 quid, man, and a pint. Honestly. They'd get the license to Ireland's kits for 50 euro. Honestly, I'm telling you now straight up. There's no doubt in my mind. If they, if Konami rang, I actually might ring Konami and say, listen, I can negotiate, I can negotiate you to talk to the kit suppliers and also talk to the guys, the marketing team at Ireland, okay? Um, 50 quid, a pack of potato crisps and a pint. And I guarantee you, you get the, the Ireland kits. I'm telling you now straight up. Uh, who else did you say to get, lads? Do Fra France have new kits, don't they? I'll check Norway. You guys were asking me about Norway. But honestly, I think with the kits and stuff, they're definitely paving the way for a big update in the Euros. Because the Euros are starting... When are the Euros starting? Is it June? Is the Euros starting in June or July? I keep, I keep forgetting that. Lucas, are you safe, actually, man? I've seen a load of videos with the storm over in Dubai. What's going on with that, man? Oh my god, these are funky kit. Oh, I like the away now. I do like the away kit. I'll be honest, I like that away kit. 
Uh, Jonah, you're 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 pre you're preaching as if I don't know, man. What what's going on in the game, man? You repeating the same comment fifty times isn't going to isn't. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, they're after they're after adding edit mode just as Jonah asked. We're after adding edit mode, bro. We know there's no edit mode. I mean, you don't have to tell us. I mean, there's three hundred people in the chat, and the three hundred of us know that there's no edit mode, man. They're focusing on my on Dream Team at the moment because that's where the focus is. I mean, it's not rocket science. That's where the cards are, man. That's where the cards are at. I think that the next update has to bang. We said it in the last one, but the next update has to bang. I think that there will be an update coming uh, before that, the Euros. Your song is working overtime. Lucas, you are filthy. You are filthy. I saw that, actually, that Mainu had a face. Or Mainu. I keep calling him Mainu, lads. He has a face. I think he's 82 overall in my squad because I haven't this, this version of him trained up. Um, where is he? Where is the... F where is the guy? Here he is. <clears throat> Honestly, man, like, it's... We all understand what the game is at the moment. Like, the stuff you're complaining about... Oh, Mainu, yeah, he does have a good face, man. Mainu does have a good face. Nice, OC, yeah? Nice, he's on D-rating, though. He shouldn't be on D-rating. Yeah. France kits, always nice. Always bang. We'll have a look at the French kits as well. We'll get into some games now in a second, lads. Uh, who else, man? Who do you think is going to win the Euros, lads? France have a serious squad, I will say that. Oh, yeah, France, man, the French kits are always nice. They're kind of like the classic French 98 ones, kind of. Ooh, they're very nice, lads. I think we'll use those, you know. I think we'll use those. I'm safe. I have my resident sitting on some collar high, high top. <laughs> Lucas, you are filled. I'll tell you, man, you are filled. But good to hear you're safe, man. Switzerland are winning it. Chaz, keep dreaming, bro. Keep dreaming. England, do England have their kits updated in this? I'm not too sure about the English kits. I haven't... Have I seen them? Oh, sh what am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, well, Library Gary, that's, again, that's a very, like, it's silly, man. It's silly. England, do you think England will win? Let's see. Let's see. England's kits are quite nice, actually. I like the pattern. I like that pattern quite a lot. Is it the same one on that? No, they're very simple kits. The kits are very, very simple, lads. Kits are very, very simple, aren't they, this year? Which I like. I like just simple kits. Honestly, I like simple kits. All right, we'll check one more, and then we'll pick... Portugal's all, Portugal always has nice kits as well, don't they? I think Portugal's have been in the game, though, haven't they? Any Portuguese fans in the chat, lads? Yeah, pretty similar. Pretty similar style. Nike as well. All right, let's crack on with the game, boys, and we'll see what the gameplay is like today. I don't think I'm going to spin for the player of the weeks. You want me to do a cheeky spin or two for the player of the weeks? Let me know. I'm not spinning for these, any of these. We have Romario. We're not even playing Romario. It's too easy to play with Romario. We emptied the box for this. Yeah, do OC, do. I don't think there's a need. Yeah, I, I agree, Lucas. I think it's even a waste of 300 coins. The best player we could get out of this won't even make the bench. So let's just crack on with the game. We'll see. Oh, lads, it's another day, another, we another week of it. And it's going to be carnage, I can already feel. Do you know what? Look, we'll do one spin. We'll do one spin for the player of the week. We'll just do one, because we have 1,100 coins. We'll do one spin, and then we'll throw him in. 
next. Yeah, the new Romario isn't isn't worth spinning for. Well, we have Palmer on our player of the week. These cards are on our road to glory. Who is it? Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Oh, I couldn't wait. Yeah, he's my top pick. He was definitely my top pick. <laughs> Get in the bin. Gone. I'm not even gonna I'm not even letting him into I'm not even letting him into the training ground. I'm not even gonna waste the money that it would it would take to pay for his taxi from the airport. No. All right, let's go, baby. Now, lads, we kind of turned it around the last day, but we're still playing. I have this new formation that I'm bringing here that's going to be kind of a sub-tactic style one. Now, this is dependent on a few different things because we leave Figo out here, we go into a double pivot here, and we have Trent right back. That's what we go into when we're chasing games or else we're holding on to a game. It just depends. But that's the formation that we're usually staying with here at the moment. The only thing I change is if somebody is man marking now, I usually put Ronaldinho up here and Messi here. And also, I think from the last day, Vieira was... Um, I think Vieira was suspended. Let me check if he's still out. Where is Vieira, lads? I thought Vieira was suspended, you know. David Seaman. Yeah, Vieira is suspended for one game, so that's a pity. Lads, I don't know, should I play Clybert, honestly? Well, this is what we've been playing for a while. <sighs> Jonah, mind your manners. You don't tell me what to do in my stream, bro. You're not my mother, okay? You're not my father, as far as I know, okay? And you're not King Collar. So zip it or zip out, okay? You don't tell me to stop doing anything in the stream, man. Luby Bin Bin is on holidays, lads. He's not back for a while. He's not back for a while. Well, this Romario is in a 50-pack. That's why he's not, he's not as good as the other one. Chiba. Um, or not Chiba. I'm calling Chiba Terra. Terra. No, not... Uh, Dave, it's, it's literally just a asset, an asset up, update. That's what it is. It's, a, it's an asset update. It's an asset loading update is what they're called. They add all, they've updated the database. They've added all these cards to the database, uh, Terra, as you've probably seen. Oh, right card. He's fully up. Tommy's fully up. Baggio's fully up. Let's see what this guy's rocking with, lads. Oh, holy moly, the Christmas tree. This is a dangerous formation. Very, very, very dangerous. But we'll see. We'll see what he's capable of. What skills did you put on him, Prince? <clears throat> Eddie, did he beat you 4-1? Well, I'll tell you, man, he's, he, he, he looks a good card. Eddie, though, to be honest, at the moment, I've never felt as in less control as I have right now with the current gameplay. Like, I think I've won six games on the trot from last stream, but that could change today. I could lose six games on the trot. Yeah, this is a very, very solid formation. But what we do, lads, is we switch between the two. I'm bringing a, I'm bringing a video out on it. Oh, sorry, boys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's his squad there. That's his squad. Exactly, Eddie. That's what I'm going to do, man. You, I'm going to have to go out wide. I'm going to have to bring him out to the deep waters. It's the Christmas tree formation, lads. With Cruyff up front, Del Piero and Messi... Uh, Carlos triple DMF with Nedved as a CMF kind of what's wrong with the screen lads no screen is good now it's good now it's good now but my team is more than capable of beating this guy lads it just depends Tyler I haven't I haven't Andrew Pugh, Roy Keane would be my ultimate epic. Yeah, he's going to be ping pong, very aggressive.
This guy is going to be very aggressive. Look, I can already tell, man, he's going to be super aggressive. But that's fine. We'll take him out to the deep waters and see if he's able to swim. And if not, he's in big trouble. Oh, Figo. Well on, Figo. Yeah, that'll do. He's very aggressive, man. He's very aggressive. Saviola will have a say in him. This is all going to be about turnovers, lads. If I can turn this guy over, he's going to be in trouble. Like that. If I can turn this guy over, he's going to be in trouble. But he could beat me as well, man. He's got a good team, good setup. <sighs> Had him beaten. Lovely. Give me that ball back. Oh, man. Lovely touch from Saviola. Lovely. We deal with those all the way back, lads. Lovely little spread. Lovely. Stevie G. Oh, unlucky Trent. The game is muted. Okay, one second, Cara. Thank you, bro. Is that better? Is that better? <sighs> Interception City, lads. Interception City. This guy doesn't know what to do, man. He's playing super deep. Trent E. Oh, Trent versus Robertson. Battle of the Liverpool boys. And Trent wins it back. And look at this, man, for carnage. Figo! What a save. Go on. Yeah, where are you going? Oh, my days. Is that better? Thanks, guys. Thanks. The season reset, yeah, we definitely need a season, re uh, re uh, a free reset and a season reset. <laughs> Lovely lads, that's super play. Go on, chase me. Oof. I mean, I couldn't be cooking this guy anymore, boys, but the game is just holding his hand, man. This is what it does. Oh, lovely badge. Nah, no, badge, you should, you should be getting to that badge. Oh, a little slip again, man. The, uh, the interceptions in the blocks are just crazy. They're just crazy at this stage in the game. But it goes both ways. Nice play. His first real chance. Does he take me out to the deep waters? No. Come on, Savvy. It's a carnage game in midfield, lads. The ref says, blows it up. He's playing quick, though. I like that. I don't like guys that waste time. That's one thing I don't like. Come on, Figo. Will you put the shift in? Oh, I read him. I read him like a book, lads. I actually am reading this guy very, very effectively. But I just can't get the break. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Man, this is, this is absolute crazy, man. This is crazy. The interceptions are at an all-time crazy, crazy, crazy level. Look. He just, he's just chasing me around like a lunatic, man. Oh, lad, seriously, man. It's gone crazy, man. It's absolute crazy. Especially with this formation. That's better. Oh, that's super. And then the block again. Stevie G doesn't get it. Oh, nice. We'll take that out, though. Oh, lovely. No, man, that was to Stevie G. It's a bad pass for me. Need to make it. We need to make this. No, go back. Lovely. Very sweaty, lads. Very sweaty game. No, it's a nothing ball, lads, really. Man, every single thing has been blocked. Everything for both teams. Good pass. 
Good ball. Good save. That'll do, lads. It's a weird game, man. It's just, it's just carnage. There's no control there whatsoever. It's just carnage. Everything's blocked, man. Everything is blocked. Everything. Doesn't matter what you do, man. It's just not enjoyable to play. That's, that's where it comes down to. It's not about winning or losing, man. It's just not enjoyable. For me, it's not anyway. Go on, sweat across now. There you go. It's just not enjoyable, man. It's just not enjoyable. Like, why do we play video games? Enjoyment. That's it. I don't care, man. It's, it's just not enjoyable. I'm going to call it as it is. It doesn't matter about winning or losing, man. It's just, it's just poor. The breakdown of play is poor. Jonah, go back to bed, bro. Go back to bed. It's past your bedtime, man. Go, pa go back to bed. I'm sorry I beat you probably in a previous stream, man. And probably spanked your little booty. Just go back to bed and let the adults play, man. Lovely ball. Lovely. Boom. Oh. Messi! Oh, beautiful. Oh, another interception. Oh, no, no. Man, the interceptions are absolutely on a different level. Man. I, don't ever, I don't ever remember them being this bad, though, man. Honestly. They're crazy right now. It's a great ball, though. Oof. They're just crazy, man. That's a great ball, Saviola! There we go. There we go. Jonah! Is he better than me now? Sit down! Sit down! Lovely. Lovely. Ah, oh, Messi, terrible run. Saliva just ate me up. Oh, good tackle. That's what she said. No, get back, Aldair. Get back. Oh, Aldair, you let me down. Ah, oh, lovely defending, though. Lovely defending. This will be a good tackle. It isn't. It isn't, man. It's a terrible tackle. Dynamic wide is what I use, bro. eFootball X. Dynamic wide. Uh, custom dynamic wide 2-2, I think. Good tackle. What a save, man. What a save. Jonah! Will you go back to bed, bro? Honestly, you don't have a clue what you're talking about. Every time I look down, you're passing a remark that you just don't have a clue. I have just literally have been talking about the, the game all day, whether it's win or lose, it doesn't matter, man. The interceptions for both teams are crazy. It's not about me scoring a goal and not complaining about it. If you can't see that the interceptions in this game are crazy at the moment, I mean, I can't, I can't explain it anymore for you, you know? Stop trying to look for attention, man, and try to be trying to be controversial. You're just making yourself look like a moron, man. <clears throat> go back to bed, man. I'll bring you up your bottle in a minute. Your dodo. Your dodi. Oh man. Just watch this passage of play before it's even happened. Watch the interceptions, man. Look, there's one. What a save. There's, like, the interceptions, the game. It doesn't matter about winning or losing, man. It's all about just the, the way it is. This is the way the game plays at the moment, man. <clears throat> it's 
We're dominating possession, we're dominating anything. But look at the interceptions, man. It's not that heavy, but every chance we've got a big interception, we've got a chance on goal. Now, will I bring on a sub? I'll bring him out to the deep waters first and see, can he handle the pressure? Nice, he did. Oh my good days. Look, man, there's another interception when I'm winning. It's not just about me. It's about the whole game. I don't like the interceptions. Like, if I'm better than this guy, let me beat this guy without the assistance. That's all I ask for, man. It's not that, it's not that difficult to understand. Nice pass. Messi. <clears throat> it could be let's, yeah. <clears throat> Jonah. As I said, man, you need to troll harder, bro. You need to troll harder. You come in here, I've never seen you before. Um, if you want to have a conversation, we'll have a conversation. But I'm not wasting any time arguing with somebody that just doesn't know what they're talking about. Honestly. And as I said, I show respect to everybody, man. I'm not wasting my time uh, arguing with you. There's other people in the chat, man, that, that uh, we can be talking to. You don't know what, if, you don't know what, if you don't know what the game is at the moment, I'm not here to educate you, man. I'm not here to educate you. The game is what it is. We'll complain about whatever we want to complain about, man. The game is the game is what it is at the moment. I think I'll bring on Carlos, lads. I mean, the irony of you in watching my stream is is, is lost in you. <laughs> <clears throat> Sanju, I would say, ooh, that's interesting. Sanju, I would say, bro, that if you are looking for Saviola or Romario just, I would say at the moment, I would say Saviola is the daddy, man. Saviola is a beast at the moment. I don't know why he left, man. Jonah, are you... I don't... I, I'm not even going to bother speaking to you anymore, bro. I'm not, I, I swear to God, man. I'm not even going to bother speaking to you. I literally have been complaining about the interceptions to and against me. For and against me. For that entire match. And you, you, now you're changing the argument. No, I wouldn't even waste my time, man. I'm not wasting my time on people anymore. It's a way. That's all they want, man. That's all they want. It's just boring. I mean, if somebody comes in and trolls, at least Let's is funny, man. At least Let's is funny, you know? I get a kick out of Let's. You know? What jerseys are they, lads? PSG? <clears throat> no, lads, I don't ever time out anybody or ban anybody on the stream, man. I mean, this isn't a dictatorship. He can say what he wants, but... I mean, he's just going around in circles, you know? Oh, man, my new... Neymar's fully up, lads. Rafael Leao is going to get his chance today. I think I'll play Neymar, though. Let's see this guy's team, man. Oh, Jesus. This could be a tough one, lads. He's after spinning for the new players this week. He's got Haaland up front. I'm not too worried with Haaland with the three at the back, but I am worried about the amount of uh, attacking options that he has. Believe in Figo. Declan Rice did a good job the last day. Rafael Leao. Neymar. No, I can't play Neymar, lads, because he's... He's deep line forward. I'll play Badge. I'll play Badge. Badge was right good in that last game, you know. All right, let's go, baby. OC, you sent. Let me just check, brother. Ah, yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. 
That's more like it. That's what I was thinking. <clears throat> you know? Jonah, listen, I probably spanked your little booty before, okay? It's okay, bro. It's okay. We all lose games, man. We all lose games. I mean, we're, we're doing something different content-wise, man, you know? We're doing different content-wise here. If you don't get that, then that's fine, man. I'm not wasting any more time on you, man. There's more than you in the chat. I'm not having a one-way conversation with you, especially when you're trying to, tr when you're trying to troll. This Romario, 90 finishing, 91 tight possession, 97 balance, 90 acceleration. Is doable if you do sign him and you don't have the other Romario. But Saviola, lads, 102 acceleration, 98 balance, 91 tight possession, 91 finishing. Like, it's, yeah, it's not the best version of Romario, I don't think. That boy Han, welcome in, bro. A lot of people don't use Raul, no. Well, Alex, that's the problem, brother. As I said, you at the very start of the stream. Some people like the way the game is at the moment. Some people, like uh, Jonah, want the game to hold their hand, you know, and tuck them in at night and give them a bottle. And I'm not slagging anybody in the chat, man, but don't come into my chat and expect me to, you know, like, you're not talking to a child here, man. I don't, you know, I, I don't uh, mess around, man. Oof. That's the problem. A lot of people don't actually mind the AI aggressiveness because it's, it's, it's helping them so much. That's basically what it is, man. I don't say that in a slaggy way. I don't say that, like, this is the thing. Like, I'll say that it, as it is. I'm not one of these people, man, that is, like, fake on stream and then is, like, a different person off stream. If I have an opinion or if I want to say something, I'll say it. I don't care. It doesn't make a difference to me. The game is very intercep interception heavy. Yes, you can get around it. Yes, you can pass around it. Yes, you can cut angles. That doesn't change that the game is what it is. That's, that's, all, that, that's all it is. Why do we still play this game? Because I still think that the game is fun. You can still have some good games in this, in this, uh, in this football game. You can still have good crack with it. But the gameplay is decided most often than not on interceptions. That's, that's basically what it is. That's not a bad thing. That's just the way the game is at the moment. Oof. You can see by the angles that the AI, when you're not controlling the AI, you can see the angles that they cut. They directly get into the flight of the, the, the opposition. They directly get into the, the flight of the players, if that makes sense. The pat, the, pat, the pat of the ball, or the fly pat of the ball. Look again, Aldair just comes out and wins that ball for me, with no input from me. Of course you can get around it. Of course you can. But the game is designed that way, at the moment. That's what the patch is. It's like with V3.3, was it? Wasn't the patch for V3.3, wasn't that very dribble-centric? Was that the one with the dribbling? I can't remember now. It's been a while since that one was out. No, we don't just complain on the stream, man. We don't just complain on the stream. We have the crack as well, man. Most, most of all, we have the crack. I'm just calling the gameplay out what it is because we're reviewing V3.5. You know? That's what it is, man. You just have to say it as it is. I'm not, I'm not fake, man. If I have an issue with something, I'll say it out. And you guys that have been watching a bit, a, a lot of, a lot of me talking about the game, I play very, very different, differently. I play out wide. I play different formations. I play three at the back. It's not just about wins for me. Of course, I want to win every game. No, that would have been a nice goal. Jonah, bye-bye. Don't let the door hit you with a good lord split you, brother. See you later, man. <clears throat> oh, what a goal. What a goal. Saviola, lads, in the perfect position, man. In the perfect position. No, lads, let's stick to the stream, man. Let's stick to the stream. Uh, Zaki, welcome back, brother. 
gameplay is pretty much identical. Interception fest, still the same. Dribbling, still a high point for me. See, this is the interesting thing. I had an argument with somebody the other day talking about the dribbling because I said in one of my videos that I thought that the dribbling now, currently, was the best it's, it's ever been. And, uh, you know, somebody was saying to me, like, they were like, oh, how can you say that the dribbling is the best it's ever been? Because you can't beat a man. But in terms of the actual control you have with the dribbling co compared to anything else, I think the dribbling is definitely a high point at the moment. Nice. A lot of problems at the moment that are overshadowed with the dribbling are the fact that the interceptions are just so heavy. That's not the dribbling's issue. The dribbling, in my opinion, is definitely a high point. That's a lovely ball. Cheeky one. Oh, man. Sabazalai just ate me there. Nah, we're blocking that all day. We're blocking that as well. Figo. Figo, make the run. Lovely Figs. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Sabiola on the run, my son. A lovely ball. Low. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. And you see with this team, this team here, right? The fact that he set up the team he set up. I said it to start, right? That last game that we were playing. Most guys, the, the, the last game I played, right? Where the guy, where it was an interception fest. Most guys set up like that because they're expecting the AI to hold their hand from. That's my problem with the game, right? Like the last game. This game isn't as interception fest. It still is interception-y, but it's not as bad. And the reason for that is because his team is set up in a different way. You know, it's more my team is set up a way to be able to get interceptions. So if I bring him out wide, it's going to be a little bit harder for him to intercept me. You go. Can we draw an old peno out of him? <sighs> Panic! What a touch. What a touch. Lord ref, that's terrible, man. Terrible. <sniffs> oh, Jonah, you're still here. I thought you were going, bro. I thought you were going. He's still here. He's still here. Yeah, but that's why most people, with this formation that he has, right? Look at this guy so deep. As soon as, mo as because I can get around the box in midfield, a lot of his defensive uh, capabilities at the back are nullified because by the time I get the ball into those dangerous areas, I can just pop a shot in, you know? <clears throat> Bye, Jonah. See you in five minutes, brother. See you in five minutes. Well, Chambers, the game is not like... When you describe pay to win, right? Pay to win, if you're like taking it at face value, is the fact that because I've got a better team than this guy, or equal teams, I mean, it's hard to know, right? But because I've got a, like more boosters than him, or he's more boosters than me, that I could literally just you know leave the control controller down, you know? And I know that that's a very, very simple way of looking at it. And I know that that's not what people mean when they say pay to, pay to play. And I feel like a lot of the... I feel like a lot of the argument kind of like dissipates when you when you talk about pay pay to play or pay to win i feel like a lot of that dissipates which is wrong as well because i know that if i leave the controller down this guy's going to beat me even with a default standard team and i get that but what it does is the ai just does a lot for you in this game and when you combine that with every player can dribble every player can uh defend every player can intercept every player can do everything when you combine that, it's, it's going to be better when you have the good players. That's just a fact. We need you, Stevie. Lovely. Has he changed something, man? I can't get the ball out now. Oh my god. Oh, lovely break. Lovely break. Lovely. Lovely. Ah.
Off. Just off, man. Just off. Just off. Just off. <clears throat> uh, Han, I would answer that question by, by saying this. Look at this guy's setup, right? I don't have to worry about him defensively too much, simply because once I get the ball into those positions, it's probably too late for him. Do you get me? It's probably too late for him. I, once I get the ball into these positions, it's kind of too late for him to do anything with it. Does that make sense? Because he's so deep. Because he's so deep. Yeah, but the thing is, man, the thing is, um, with, with the game at the moment, like, I've said this before, you either see the game for what it is and you're able to adjust to that, just because you see the game what it is and you're able to adjust to that, doesn't mean that it's fun, doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, happy about it, you know what I'm saying to you? Like, I know, the, I know the issues with this game, I know how to get past them, I know that if I want to get to Division 1 and have a 20 win streak with a lot of tap-ins and a lot of similar uh, goals being scored, I know I can do it if I really, really, really restrict, like, you know, changing my formation every couple of games or doing things like that, not getting caught in the counter-attack, stuff like that. But I want to do something different, man, on the channel. That's what it's about. You know? It's not just about wins, man. It's, it's just not about wins for me. Of course, I want to win every game. But if I want to play Collar up front, I want to win with Collar. I don't want to just play 50 games with Saviola up front. At the moment, we're just testing the gameplay with the same setup that we had the last day, and it feels identical to me. The biggest thing in the game is not getting caught in possession. That's the biggest thing. Oh my god, Liao, what are you doing? Good header. Just a breakdown. There we go. Ah, Stevie G. This guy's gone attacking. Nice dribble. Lovely dribble. Oh no, that was a horrible pass. It's my bad. Red him though. Great ball. Watch the breakdown. Ah, I thought he'd head her the other way. Go on, Trent. Oh, Trent. Don't be off now, Liao. Oh, Jesus, let's want to run from Liao. We still win it, though. Oh, I'm chasing ball. Oh, no, man. That's horrible, isn't it? Defensively, I've been fairly solid today. But the interceptions, man, are still absolutely carnage in this game. They're not as bad as they were in the last game because of this guy's defensive setup, but they're still way more than what they need to be. It's like slow-mo. Good play. Ah, oh, it's terrible for me, lads. Just bad dribbling for me. It's game over anyway. He can do what he wants now. Another clean sheet, boys. Another clean sheet. No 
know, but honestly, lads, it's not about meta man or meta this or meta that. Like, we all know how to play. We all know to pl how to play if you want to play, um, you know, to get more wins. You know? Like, we have an 81% ratio with this formation. Three at the back. I wouldn't... I wouldn't um, recommend to play with this formation. You know? That's the thing. Yeah, well, I, this guy is uh, top 5,000 in the world. You know, he's got to top 5,000 before. This guy's got to 954th in the world today. Like, it's... To be honest with you, when you've got a team like this, like that this guy was playing... His team strength is a little bit below me, 3098. But this guy's squad here that we just played here is 3163. But he's got Haaland up front just because Haaland, like, there's probably only about four players in that squad that I would use. And three of those are in the defense. And once I scored the first goal, that guy was in big trouble. I would probably would only use R10, Carlos, Araujo, and Arnold out of that squad. Can Bastoni, Fernandez, Basilai, Salah, Haaland, Vinny, they're interchangeable. But it's not all about just winning games. Like, if I've set up my squad this way, I wouldn't recommend to play this way. Honestly, I just wouldn't. Yeah, I'd say Ritz, they're just cashing in on that. Uh, I'm good, bro. I'm good, James. We will probably get a, an LBC, yeah. We will probably get an LBC manager. Uh, James, there isn't, brother. There's no free reset at the moment. Like, what happens when you get caught in possession, uh, Mirk Avlas, is you get hit on the counter-attack very effectively. And because quick counter is so high up the pitch, like, look how high you are defending here. You're playing practically in midfield. So because the game is so, like, aggressive, once you get turned over in possession, it's pop, pop, pass through. And if you're playing against a guy that has a really good formation, um, very effective, it can, it can uh, give you a lot of trouble. Yeah, but Chambers, like, listen, if you want to know, like, there's a difference between playing this game and wanting to win, but having fun, or playing this game because you want to be an esports guy. If you're playing this game and you want to be pushing an esports guy, look at what the top rank is playing. Look at what the top rank is playing. And this is the meta. Four centre backs, or else one right back or a left back that is defensive that has got 90 plus in every stat. Three up front, and then your two men in midfield. One to block and one to get the ball through. This will follow through for the top 10 players. It doesn't make a difference. Previous top rank, four CB, or else three CB with Wambasaka, Vieira, De Jong, Honus, and then your three up front. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not a magic potion, man. It's not a magic potion. These guys are playing Jabby Alonso, but look how deep they're playing. Again, four CBs. You'll very rarely see somebody in the top 10 play five, play three at the back. And the reason for that is because you get caught in the break. It's usually guys playing four CBs. Vieira, Honus, Mataus, Romy, Owen, Maradona. You know, on any of these guys, it doesn't go into random players. Like, they all have the same kind of system. Forget about his team, he's obviously playing an event. But you've got your three center back, your three center forward set up. You know? And anytime that you go across and you want to get wins, anytime you want to go across and you want to get wins, you will revert back to the three center back, three center forward uh, position. Setup, tactical setup. I'm playing this formation here. A tree at the back, which the top, none, nobody in the top 100 are playing tree at the back for good reason. The player of the week is pretty poor. We'll do a quick review of the player of the week. We have a video coming out later, but we'll do a video on it. No, but everyone has a different one. Everyone has a different opinion on what they enjoy with the game. Some people like the dribbling, such as me. Some people hate the dribbling. Some people like the aggressiveness of the AI. Some people hate the aggressiveness of the AI. I dislike the aggressiveness of the AI. I dislike the hand holding. I dislike the spacing. 
I dislike that you have to concentrate so much just to, just to not get intercepted in this game. Yes, you can play uh, you can you can play around it. Of course you can. You can, of course you can play around it. And a lot of times when you lose a game, it is a lot to do with you as well. You can always play better. You can always clear the ball. You can always sit on the ball a bit longer if you have time. Um, so Basil, I, I don't know, boys. I'll answer the both of you in one question. Personally, for me, it's not a bad card, but I just think that there's way better uh, cards out there. I know some people will rate him, and he's a really high-rated guy. But he's good. He is good. Yo, Pestiles, welcome back, bro. Welcome in. How are you finding the game? I do like Sabazalai, don't get me wrong. Like, Ritz, Ritz is a fantastic player as well. Like, he's probably the pick of him. Whole player, he's got sombrero, double touch, soul control. You give him flip flap, he's got special ball roll or special double touch. Um, one, two, one touch pass, true passing. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm working on a video on true passing. That's one thing that they've... There's a trick with true passing that I haven't seen anybody talk about yet that I'm going to do a video on. But Laurie, I mean, Laurie, there is nothing to care about in this wins or losses. Like, I get frustrated when I lose a game. Of course I get frustrated when I lose a game. Nobody likes losing. If the girlfriend messaged me and said, oh, I want to race you up the stairs, and she beat me, I'd be tick because I'm a competitive person. But when you lose a game in eFootball, you just, you just do this. You just brush, your, brush yourself down and you go again. That's it, man. There's nothing to play for. Division 1 are 50,000 ranked in the world. You're getting the same rewards. You're getting the same login bonuses. You're getting the same freebies. You're getting the same gameplay. You're getting the same everything. Just depends, man, on what you want to do out your experience. You know? Do you know what I like in uh, eFootball to like at the moment, right? Do you know those guys on YouTube that do playthroughs and speedruns of a game, right? So I'll download Elden Ring or I'll buy Elden Ring and it'll take me 80 hours to complete the game because I'll play it at my pace and I'll struggle with it at certain bosses and a lot of the experience will be, you know, just exploring, just literally just chilling, might go on for two hours doing nothing, only chilling around looking for new gear or looking to fight a boss or something. Other guys will go on and try and beat the game speedrunning in eight hours. E-football is like that as well. There's a competitive speedrun-esque type game out there to be had which is to push top rank or is to push esports um style play you know what i'm saying if you look at anybody that plays and it's not about talking about other people i don't talk about anyone ever you know content creators esports guys professional players guys that qualify for tournaments it's not about talking about people man and 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 dis dissecting what they do everyone has a different thing what they want out of video games for me speed running a game well, i'd have no interest in it I'd have no interest in whatsoever. Also, I'd have no interest in um, certain games like Fortnite or anything like that. Um, that's just my personal preference. But if you look at a lot of guys that are playing that speedrun-esque, you know, meta, top rank, pushing esports, competitive type of play, you just need to look at the top 10, man. You just need to look at the top 10 ranking and ask yourself the question, well, why are they playing the way that they're playing? You know, why are they playing three center forwards with four CBs? You know? There's methods to everything, man. There's methods to everything. That's what it is. There's different levels to playing a video game. People get it twisted when I say, I don't care about winning or losing. And then I lose a game and somebody pops up in the chat. Oh, I thought you said you didn't care about losing. I don't care if I win or lose. But I do care if I'm about losing. Because from a competitive point of view. Do you get me? That's, that's what it is, man. It's, it's a competitive thing with me. It is a bit bleak, James. You're right. It is a bit bleak. We did watch the, U, uh, the Champions League. We did. Sharps, it's on Prime, isn't it? I must watch it. I must watch Fallout. <laughs> exactly, boss. But you get what I'm taking... You, you get my point. Uh, Pestiles, all they've updated, brother, is the new kits, and they've pu they've put in a big dump into the database. So these players are all coming to the database that have been updated. Do 
that is the build I would go for if you are if you do have her Mario lads. That is the build I would go for. Uh, OC sent me on sent me on this one here. That is the build I would go for there. 90 acceleration, 97 balance, 99 attack and awareness, 96 ball control, 91 type possession. But and we'll do we'll do a live review live update here of Romario, right? For me, personally, at the moment, I still think, right, if you're doing a comparison between Romario and Saviola, I still think Romario just has... I think Saviola will be the man for the next couple of weeks. Um, but with Xabi Alonso... I'll take out Clivert, lads, he's dog. With, with Xabi Alonso, I think that you can get him very, very effectively. So if I put 12... If I put, what... 12 into dexterity. We'll start with 8 into dex, right? And 8 into dribbling. Finishing is already where it needs to be. Finishing is 93 with this booster version without touching the stat. I haven't even upgraded his, his shooting more than 5. And that's it. Now, I don't need to go any higher than that, okay? That's more than enough because I want, I want the curl to be there. We'll probably go 4 more into curl if we can. Passing, dribbling, all of that is still good. 88 type possession, so we'll pop two more onto type possession. The rest is going to go into lower body. We're obviously going to be getting a nice little boost with that. You're going to have 88 speed, 85 stamina, 95 acceleration, 91 balance. The dribbling is at 86, finishing at 93. It's very, very effective. I'll probably boost up this two more just to get his kick and power a bit higher. And then we're going to go two more into dexterity. That's basically where I would go, man, with him. With this version of Romario. 90 speed, 96 acceleration, 93 balance, 90 type possession, 93 finishing, 98 attack and awareness. You know? It's, it's a very nice card. Now, when you compare him with Saviola, Saviola is a similar height, obviously, uh, but way, like, like, less, you know, he's, he's not as heavy as him. Not fast shame and Romario now or anything, but he's not as heavy as him KG-wise. Tacking awareness, Romario blows him out of the water. Ball control is the same. Dribbling, Saviola blows him out of the water. Tight possession is the same. Low pass, lofted pass, irrelevant. Finishing, Romario slightly better. Um, to be honest with you, I probably could have left Romario's at 90 and just saved those two. But you're only going to be saving three points, which will probably only get you one more into acceleration. Speed, 90 and 91. 96 acceleration versus 102. Balance, 98 over 93 for Saviola. But the big thing with Romario, lads, in my opinion, is the fact that he just he just feels so good on the game. And also the fact that as well that we do have double touch, flip flap, and soul control on Romario. He's just slicker on the ball. Um, this version of him. You know? But this Saviola is good. There's no doubt about it. <clears throat> Like, if you're playing Romario up front with uh, the Beast here, I, I, they're just different class, man. They're just different class. Like, it all depends on the team that you're playing. Lads, do you want me to test Pep? Do you want me to test Pep? Because we have a video done on Jabby Alonso. Do you want me to buy and test Pep? Because, look, we have 13 wins with Sabi Alonso. Out of 15 games, we have 13 wins, uh, 2 losses and 1 draw. So if you want me to get Pep, we can. Alex, that's a good point, bro. That's a good point. The weak foot. That is a good point. But that depends. You can always cut the angle. That's only going to affect you every now and again. You know? Do you want me to switch? Because honestly, lads, like, I, I don't care about pushing Division 1. We have time to push that if we want to, but it's more about testing. Do you want me to test Pep? And have a different formation? I mean, we 15 games played with Xabi Alonso. I have a review ready to go on him. I know the issues I'm going to run into with Pep straight off the rip. I know the issues straight away. All right, let's buy Pep. 500 coins. I wish that the managers came with an unveiling. 
And this is what it comes with. So we get 40,000 trainers and we get Guardiola, who's going to be possession game, plus one to tie possession. Obviously, I need the free reset to, to change all my players, but it is what it is at the moment. My team is not built for possession at the moment. Um, but we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to change my tactic, though. No, we won't play five. No, we'll, st we'll stick with this. We'll stick with this. We'll stick with this exact formation and play one game. We've already, what? Lost two games in 15, won 13 and drew, one, drew, 30, or drew one. I know the issue I'm going to run in with, with this formation straight off the rip anyway. But let's crack on. Pesticides, what do you think of new Pep? Let's play one with our just straight Jabby Alonso setup. We have an 81% ratio, win ratio, uh, playing 75% Division 1 players with Jabby Alonso. Uh, Matthias, I usually play possession, brother. I usually. Playing long ball counter as a setup, I play possession as a style of play, not as tactics. Using Jabby Alonso, that's one mistake that people make. That's a huge mistake people make. When they see me with Jabby Alonso, they're like, okay, this guy's going to be a ping pong artist. And then you hold the ball and they don't know what to do. They're like confused. Uh, shoes in GTA. What do you mean counter crossing, bro? No, that by hand. It's not that deep. You don't honestly need to. Just give everyone... One touch pass. Yeah, exactly. Maitland Niles is good, yeah. <clears throat> we'll try out just a standard formation, and then we'll do a bit of experimenting. Come on, brothers. No gameplay sound, really? There should be. There should be gameplay sound, bro. Yeah, there is gameplay sound, definitely. I have tried the mobile version, yeah. New Romario card is okay. It's probably the worst Romario card that they've released, but it's okay if you've never had him before. <clears throat> Alright, let's test out, man. Possession is really nice, but there is a couple of weaknesses in it. Let's, let's get out of this stadium. Go to the sports park. Behind closed doors. Change the ball as well. <laughs> Boss, exactly. We'll stick in our jerseys, lads. We've been undefeated. I didn't get new Romario. Why? I, I'm not going to go for new Romario because I've got the beast here. I've got this Romario. Let's see this guy's team. Okay, he's definitely playing free to play. This could be a dangerous team, lads. He's still playing meta. I, I haven't come up against somebody playing three at the back in a long time, but he's not really playing three at the back. And I reckon this guy is using sub tactic as well. But let's see. Because he's using Soundcrassen as an SS, which is unusual. Very interesting team. We'll get Makalele in. I need to train up Rijkaard, as remind me the next time. Uh, 3CB, 2DMF with deep line on possession game is OP as F. Well, let's see, man. I usually have deep line on defensive on Makalele. And then deep line on Makalele as well. So I had to take Vera off there. We can bring on Carlos. We can bring on Leao. We can bring on Musiala. Rest of the team is looking quite spicy, lads. Interested to see how they go now. I have played mobile at the very start of the game, yeah. The very start of mobile. Or Mario's not free, no. 
They should have. I think that they should have thrown Romario in as a reward for playing some sort of event. I've played hundreds of games with possession, hundreds of games without wide, hundreds of games with long ball counter and quick counter. I haven't played with long ball too much. That's the one, because it doesn't suit my playstyle, even though I play with the king. Let's see, lads. Let's see what the possession has in store for us. Ah, oh, terrible pass. Oh, big height. Big high one, Makalele. This is where, this is where Makalele will mop up now, lads, in these areas of the pitch. Oof. Nice. Yeah, I definitely would have. I would have definitely. I would have wanted the free Romario. If it was free Romario, it'd be different gravy. But this Romario is the best that they've released, this booster Romario. On the touch, Saviola. Romario! See, his position, lads, is unreal. Yeah, I would have preferred him free as well. Yeah, Kareem, I've played out wide. If you go back and look at my early content, especially on my road to glories, I pretty much played solely out wide for about six months. Oof. Oh man, we're getting so many chances. But yeah, it's all about just when you have possession, just really making it worthwhile. Not really rushing anything, not panicking when you have the ball. That's why a lot of people like possession if they're good players. Oh my god, he just took out Romario, lads. He actually took me out there. Never fear, Jared is here. Come on, ref, will ya? There's loads of tackles going in there. Come on, Trenty. Watch Romario's run now, lads. Watch when he triggers the run. That's poor, man. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Shoes, thank you coming. Thank you for becoming a member, bro. Appreciate it. Give your GGs to Shoosh. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that, man. He's got a good run on me here. Aldair will eat it up, though. Aldair says, no, not today. Not today. You're not passing me. There we go. That's beautiful. Lovely. Ronaldinho. Oh, sit him down. Back. This is what you have to do with possession, man. You have to you have to use cross field balls. You have to not get caught in possession. That's the big thing. Yourself. Not to get caught in the counter. Oh, that's magic, Figo. Figo! It's a tap in. Simple tap in. Give your GG's to Shush. Thank you guys. I just have to be when I'm telling it's always I don't have enough power. Jack, yeah, what pass assist are you using? But honestly, don't be too hard on yourself because the passing at the moment is really, really, really crazy and chaotic. Nice. Makalele is covering though. There we go. Manual defending for the win. Should be more of a skill gap, but it isn't. Saviola with the run. Lovely ball. Oh, what? How? What? Excuse me? Excuse me? Gerard, lovely. Saviola, back to the ball. That's unusual. Have they, have they patched Saviola already? I wouldn't be surprised. Come on, ref. Terrible pass. That's my mistake though, in fairness. Oh, Grimaldo, he blocked those. Watch your Mario, lads. Look, head down, ready for war. Yeah, I'm on pass assist too, Jack. So you're looking, I'm playing pass assistance too here. So if your game looks similar to mine, um, 
there is probably some like a lot that you can do in terms of cutting angles. Cutting angles is one of the most important things for passing. On ref <clears throat> I don't think the match pass is worth it unless you are going to clear it he knows what's coming uh, I should have went that it was too quick it, I had to go under the wall there though there was nothing else I could do One issue as well with Pep is that when you have the ball, you have to make like you have to make a little bit more chance. Your chance creation is a little bit different than if you're playing long ball or quick counter. Yeah, Philip Lamb is added to the database. There's our stats with Pep. That's what you kind of need to do. Now, we only have 56 possession, but we have 56 successful passes, nine interceptions, crosses three, shots on target three, and we're 1-0 up. So I'll just try to control the game a little bit more now. Yeah, Jack, check out the videos, man. I, I do a ton of videos. If you are a new player, check out all my videos, man. I have a really good beginner's guide. It's got a lot of views. Um, there's a lot of videos that you can check out that will give you a helping hand. Auto allocate, man, will get you nowhere really at the end of it. Come on, ref, that's a peno, man. Do you see what I mean about Romario's uh, positioning, lads? It's almost unfair to play with Romario. I, I feel like I score with him every single game. This guy could tap now. I'd say he's going to tap. Yeah, of course he is. But if you look at Romario's position here, watch Romario's position in here when I turn over possession. Look, just watch. Watch this. From the tip off, little touch here, back to Romario, gone. Slow down, right stick dribbling, no, no stick dribbling, and then back in. Now watch his run here. Look at his run here. He resets the run once, then goes and into a position and once I get in here it's either going to be a penalty a shot which I'll probably get a corner from or a tap back for a sweat back yo welcome back El Presidente and then he taps but that's the same that's the same that goes with Romario the whole time it's just that fear that you have with Romario like right here in this position I don't have anything on I don't have anything on here and then watch the run from Romario. He tracks, he resets. Now he goes, and nobody picks him up. That's where you need to play a little bit sweaty and a little bit meta. You know? That's where you need to play it. If you want to do that, then of course you can. But I feel like that that's probably the biggest thing with Romario is his movement. His movement is extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. We can have a look. None of the players have their names or stats up, though. Uh, Lucas, do they? Philip Lamb has his one up, all right. None of the player have the players got their stats up, man. I'm just looking here. I don't think that they have stats, though. The stats aren't there at the moment from what I can see. Philip Lamb is the only one. Let me see if I can swap this out here.
They're getting clever, man. They're actually getting clever with the stats and stuff. No, no, I have it here. I have it here. Uh, one sec. Here we go. These are all the new players that they've added. These are all the new players that they've added from left to right. So Philip Lamb, can you see that? Will I zoom in a bit? Is that better? Is that better? Can you see that, lads? Because I can't see the screen. Yeah, they're new boosters. Philip Lamb is a brand new one. He's never been out. But this is the Romario. David Villa. Nakamura. Torres. Iniesta. Kaká. Who's this? Who's that guy? Zoom out. Like that? That's as much as I can zoom out while still seeing it, I think. Davids. Oh, Albertini. Nice. Is it Albertini or Otto? Davids. Yeah, exactly. Well, they've, had, they've added new cards as well. Like, they've added these two guys that have never been out before. Um, there's also two blank cards, and they've added Turam, and they have added, who else did they add new? Ribri. So the new ones are Ribri, Lillian Turam, that you see there, Frank Ribri. Obviously, Ribri's been out before, but there's an a inter international one. So the new ones that have never been out before that they've added, Lillian Turam, these two boys here, and then Philip Lamb. Yeah, Kara, exactly, exactly. That Casillas is the winning one, and Torres is there as well. Puyol is there. They'll probably do a special pack. I reckon they'll do a trio of packs. That's what they'll do for the for the championship. That Casillas there. These cards aren't out yet. They're not out yet. Yeah, they're all new boosters. They're all. I reckon that they'll have some sort of like international booster. They're all the new boosters there. Yeah, Turam will be good. Dennis Law could be good. Well, we spoke about it before. Um, we spoke about it before, lads. I reckon that the, the future of the cards is they're going to go down the FIFA route where they're going to have a base card. So say, for example, you will have a base version of a card, right? That could be 90 overall. So say you have a base version of Kaka that's 90 overall. Then you'll have a booster version of him, which will be like 95 overall. And then you'll have the legend, like, best version of Kaka, like a legend card. So you'll have base, booster, right? And then you'll have the ultimate version of him. So you'll have three versions of the same card. They already have it in the database. Yeah, Davids is going to be a fun one to use. Yeah, I'd love that Davids as well. But he's not... Listen, at this stage, lads, unless you're really investing for eFootball 2025, um, you're only buying cards as kind of a novelty. There's no real upgrade between this Davids and Makalele or Vieira or Reichard. Yeah, there is a new Messi coming as well and Griezmann, these two blank cards there. There's a load of new cards and then obviously you have all the old ones that they haven't re released yet. They have cards that they haven't released yet that they're going to be working through. They're going to come first. So I reckon these cards, like Nesta and all these cards, they've all obviously released Figo, Clivert, Nedved, all of those. There's a Messi there and a Griezmann there, and there's also a Frank Ribery there. 
They're all down as CMFs. They don't have any stats or any player identifiers at the moment. Young Maldini, Puyol. They've also got one card in here. That could be anybody. But I reckon any of these cards that have a rating here and overall that haven't been released, Tony Adams uh, springs to mind, Julius Caesar, any of those that haven't been released yet, they will probably come this season. And then the next big update, these will be loaded up here. In my opinion. But yeah, Kaka's going to be a, a demon, man. I'll be back in a sec, boys. Just give me two secs. I need to go for a pee. So yeah, lads, that's going to be it, man. They're going to be the new legends that they've added. I'm just getting a cup of tea now, lads, in a sec. We will. I think that the next big update that they're going to do will be the Euros. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> definitely. Davids is going to be good. All of those are going to be good. Lucas, you lo is is Kaka your favorite AMF? I don't know if there's a pack for next week. What date is next week? Okay, so this is what's coming next week. The European Club Selection Guardians. So that's obviously going to be tied with European Legends. So you've got Ederson, you've got Nuno Mendes. Antonio Silva. Zakaria. That Zakaria card could be quite decent, actually. No, I'm not spinning for anything else now today. Gameplay is the same, bro. Gameplay is the exact same, man. Oh, Lamb is coming. Lamb will be out. I'd say Lamb will be out with that pack. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Rajat, we just use Romario and Saviolo in, in a double up front there. I'm high for Dennis Law. My bro got him as literally. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really good. Beckenbauer, maybe, I would say. Philip Lamb, definitely. Beckenbauer, maybe. I don't think... 
listen, man, fix NBA 2K. I, I don't, I can't tell you. There's, there's definitely context to the question that you're asking for. If you've started the game and you don't have any players in your squad, every pack is worth spinning for. If you've been playing the game for six months, it's hard to tell is a pack spinning worth spinning for. If you've been playing the game for two years and you have epics coming out your wazoo, there's no pack spinning uh, worth it. Lucas, you're on something today, I'm telling you. You're on whatever Pep is on, I'm telling you. The filthy, filthy stuff. The collar juice. Matthias could come, Adams could come. Yeah, there's lots that could come. Nesta, Nesta would be a good shout actually, yeah. Nesta could be a good shout, man. Definitely. I definitely agree with that. But we're playing a double up front, lads. Saviola and Romario. I mean, I think I'll rest. I think I'll rest him today. We'll play Messi today, lads. Romario's too good, man. He's just too good. I actually don't really enjoy playing Romario because I know it's a goal a game every game. Unless the connection is absolutely dog and I can't do what I want to do with Romario. Um... It's always the same, man. This guy is playing a five at the back. Interesting formation. He's playing with Xabi Alonso. Again, we're going to test out Pep here. This guy is playing 5 2 1 2. Fairly standard centre backs that we should be able to, to get to. But Xabi Alonso, Trent, Neymar, Rafa Leao. Could have got lucky with spins or else probably popped in a bit. Uh, but we'll see. Every game is different. Ronaldinho is fully up. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, Pep Pep is gonna I think he'll stay on with City now though. Dennis Law is a player I definitely would be interested in getting. Dennis Law is, is definitely a player that could uh that could be I won't say game changer. Let me just get a cup of tea, lads. Kettle's boiled. Let's go, baby. Prince, you better. You better, man. Yo, Skrilla, welcome back, bro. No, listen, let's. Carlo Ancelotti now goes down as one of the greatest managers of all time, I think, if he wins this league. If he wins this one. Amon, GG's, brother. Thank you for watching. Okay, we've got a rat in our hands, lads. The Hoover could be out. The Hoover could be out, lads. <laughs> Who do you think you're turning? Don't you dare. Nice. Oh, that's magic. Oh, we just needed one more. Oh, oh, Saviola, 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 and the finish. It's a terrible finish, lads. I tried to go a bit harder and I should have finished that. That was horrible, man. That was horrible, man. Skrilla, it's pretty much the same, bro. It's, it's pretty much the exact same. 
Oh, make up for it, Javier. Make up for it. That should have been 1 0. Make up for it. Nah, he could be coming off, boys. Uh, hola, I'm working on it, bro. I have one up. I have one up already, uh, Figo. Actually. Come on, don't rap me now. Just play properly. You're playing five at the back. Don't waste my time. We're trying to test out, out Pep. What oh, play? What oh, play? Ah, oh, Savioli, you left me down. Ah, all right, I'm getting too cute now, lads. I'm getting too cute. Jerry with the run. It's a horrible pass, though. Oof. Interceptions are a bit elusive in this game, lads. These are the games that scare me when I'm not getting the interceptions, even though I'm positioning myself perfect. Ronaldinho. That's magical. It's very, constri it's very constricted at the back because he's playing five. <sighs> what a save. Saviola's lethal up front, lads. Now bring him out to the deep waters. No, we'll try and spam. We'll try and flick it on with Vieira. Pfft, there's anything could happen in this game. It's one of the crazy ones. Yeah, but Jack, that's part of the game, bro. That's part of the game, man. That's just the way the game is designed at the moment. It's not you. It's not you, honestly. Oof. You can see the interceptions. This is what frustrates me about this game a lot of the time. Messi, 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 Messi. Beautiful pass, beautiful goal, and he's just sitting back off me. This guy is playing a dangerous game, lads, because because he's playing he's playing so deep, and he's not he's not chasing me. I'm going to get chances to, like that, and it's just about whether or not I can finish. Because we are spreading him, man. We're spreading him very, very nicely. <laughs> Little sweat back, tap back, Messi's there. That's what he does. That's what he does, lads. Messi is just a demon at those positions if you just play him very simple. Oh, not in soft. All right, Chevy Alonso, I see what you're cooking with. Now, this guy's just playing one touch passing, man. With five at the back, you just can't do that. Figo. Lovely ball. Oh, he's not waiting around. Trent. Trenty. Low to Saviola. That's three. Into the dangerous areas like that, lads. You know that's going to happen. And this guy's in trouble now. 
He's giving. He's going to tap. Hoover's coming out, lads. Hoover's coming. Hoover's coming. Hoover's coming, lads. The legs are out. Another Hoovered. Another, another Hoovered. It's just his position in the Sabiola, lads, is frightening. It's frightening. Really, really nice. And that's what you get when you have Sabiola or you have somebody else up front that can do that for you. And clean up on aisle four, it's done. <clears throat> Big time Musiala progression. Up on the channel, Rajat. I don't make these videos just to have him up for a day, man. They're there forever. I haven't trained him up fully yet, this Musiala, because we were waiting for the, the guy, the reset. But acceleration, balance, tight possession, all good. Very, very solid. Don't need much more than that. Passing, probably put five and more, two or three more into passing. Dribbling, always going to be very, very high. Balance, shooting. You just have it all with this card, man. You genuinely have it all with this card. Ninety-nine dribbling, ninety-five balance, ninety-seven acceleration, ninety-seven low pa low uh, tight possession, eighty-eight finishing. Listen, lads, you have to hoover up when you take out the trash. Ah, uh, Lou, it's always cold in Ireland, man. It's always cold or raining, one or the other. Yeah, Musiala is one of the best in the business. Probably my favorite AMF, apart from Honus. Yeah, me and Henry, me and Henry have taken out a lot of garbage lately. <clears throat> what tier would I rate Arnold? Uh, he was in that tier list. He was in the tier list video, if you haven't seen that, Jack. The community rated him. I would probably rate him as an A. Come on, baby. Give me a game. Man, look at this now for a text. I wish I could show you this text message, lads. From the missus. She's always at me, man. No opponent found. Okay, of course. Of course. I didn't go for big time Wambasaka, Lou, because I have Bergomi and Dixon. Yeah, I would say that my top three attacking midfielders at the moment, Ronaldinho, Honus, and Musiala. Maybe Baggio there. Uh, Baggio's a little bit, like, not as good there. We've played this guy before, lads. Very similar rank to me. Honus is a beast, man. I love him. I love Honus and I love Musiala because they're so slick. Yeah, Vritz is good, but I don't feel that he's meta, 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 meta. But it depends. If you have got a really good player, then it can be different. If you've got a really good version of him, uh, or an attacking midfielder like there instead, it can be it can be good. Let's see what this guy's rocking, lads. Okay, he's playing another three at the back. Very interesting, man. Four sitting in midfield. This is going to be a tough game. This is going to be a very tough game. 
Abhishek, I would probably choose still Romario. But, and I say this with a big but, Kim Kardashian but, um, I would say that the reason why I like Romario and it just tips the scale, like you're talking about maybe 51% Romario, 49% Saviola, literally just tips the scale because of the fact that Romario, I trust him more than anybody in front of goal. All right, this guy is going to be literally just going to be one touch passing the whole way up the pitch. I already know, man, this is going to be one touch max meta rat. This is going to be uh, this is going to be a tough game. Ah. <clears throat> Why did Aldair make that movement, man? Oh no, is this lagging? I feel like, I feel like this one is a bit laggy, lads. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's a little bit laggy. Save. Yeah, I think it's a bit laggy, lads. I think it's a bit laggy, man. I can feel it straight away when I got that ball out wide with Maldini. In general, we've been we've actually had a good day today, man. We've had a really good day today with the connection. Now maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just in my head now. <clears throat> it just feels a little bit input laggy. Maybe it's for him as well. It just feels, yeah, this one feels a little bit delayed, but I'm not going to make excuses, man. This guy who beat me, he beat me. If he beats me, he beats me. Just my defending, my positioning, my defensive, like, with Aldair there a second ago, it was a bit weird the way he moved. But as I said, maybe it's just me, man. Which is possible as well. Or maybe it's like this for both of us. <clears throat> Great ball, far post. Good defending. Have to hit that with Stevie G, lads. Oof, good hit, good hit. Lucas, yeah, that, I, I'm glad you noticed that because I noticed it straight away, man. I noticed it straight away with Aldair. When I targeted Aldair for that possession, he, when I targeted him, he ran forward. Before, like, that wasn't me running him forward. As I said, man, people that understand the game when you're talking about issues understand the game. Other than that, it's uh, it's all excuses, you know. The defense defense is the biggest problem for me, the delay in the defense. Cuz you can't turn your players fast enough. Ah, uh, it's a good read. See what I mean? I can't target Vieira fast enough there. And by the time I target him, the chance is gone for me to intercept it. Yeah, just a little bit sticky, man, but it is what it is. This guy got a good goal, in fairness to him. It was scrappy. <clears throat> you can't win them all, though. And we're not gone yet. We're not gone yet. I mean, he's just one touch passing rap, man. That's what he is. You know? That's all he's doing, man. I don't say that in a bad way, man. I obviously say it in jest before people get upset. Calling people rats. Oof. Messi! He's a good player, man. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it, man. Out to the deep waters, though. See if can he defend. <clears throat> uh, 
They're trying to be cute. Deserved it. Two scrappy goals. It is a bit laggy, lads. Maybe it is for him as well. Lucas, the player switching is the biggest thing I notice. It's, again, man, it's not about making excuses. Every time you concede a goal, of course it's going to be making excuses. Every time you lose, of course it's going to be me making excuses. But it's just popping things out uh, a little bit more. Like, he conceded that goal there. I reckon that it is probably the same for him. I reckon it's the same for him. Like, I literally can't stand him up defensively. Like, I was defending super well all day today. And in this game, I literally just can't position my players where I want to position them. I can't switch to the players I want to switch to. It's switching too late. I can see what he's going to do, but I just can't get interceptions. And the, the movement of the players... The movement of my players defensively, I can't set my defensive shape. Now, couple that with this, this guy is a good player. But I literally can't position my players properly because there's that little bit of delay. And when you couple that against playing against a good opponent, um, it's very difficult. Very difficult. Again, we can still beat this guy. It's not about, like, not, you know, that it's going to completely excuse if we lose or win. Um, we can still beat this guy. Of course we can. But it is that much more difficult... I don't mind, I can take, I know I can score against this guy, but it's my defendant. Look, he's after giving me the slip there. He's just dribbling around me very, very effectively. One touch pass, very little time on the ball. GG's, good half. Yeah, we'll change kits after this one, lads. No, Abhishek, the new Romario isn't that good, bro. Yeah, Lou, exactly, man. As I said, there's games like this. There's games like this. When people, when you can see it, like you can, Lou, and, you know, you can see the issues that I'm facing, brilliant. If somebody can't see it, it's me being a crybaby. It is what it is, man. You get games like this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, man. The player switch for me defensively is absolute killer. Because I defend so manually and I switch so much, it kills me. It kills my game. But as I said, we can still beat this guy, man. He's a good opponent. It's not taking anything away from this guy. You know, he's playing very, very meta. He's standing off me. Pressing when he needs to press. He's a good player, man. These are the teams that you want to be playing against. And these are the games that you want to be struggling against. It's just a pity that, like, when I switch in formation, or when I'm switching player, it's just not doing it for me. That's all. Now, whether he has that same issue or not, that depends. That's my fault. He's manual cancelling. He's not a bad player whatsoever. Good defending. See what I mean? Ball just bypassing Stevie G. The last game, that wasn't happening, man. Lovely. Ah, oh, Stevie. Might work out. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Man, I'm trying to get back with Aldair there and I just can't. Whew, tough game, man. Tough game. Tough opponent. Good skilled opponent. High rank. But the defensive AI, the defensive position is killing me, man. I just can't defend. I think, Lucas, honestly, bro, I think it's a lot to do with connection, man. And style of play. Like, this guy is a complete meta, meta opponent. That's not a slag. That's not anything. I'm just calling it as it is, man. He's one-touch pass. Highest pass assist, one-touch pass, looking for the touch and goals every single time. And fair play to him. If that's how he wants to play, brilliant. You know? I like to be standing up. It's not an issue. <laughs> I'm joking now, by the way, lads. Don't get too upset with me, man.
<clears throat> the dribbling, I think, is at a high point. <clears throat> but that's just me. I like the dribbling in this game. I actually think it's really fun. Oh, badge, we just need it. That'll do, that'll do. Oh, man, I read him like a book. I read him like a book. We have to hit this. Oh! That would have been some winner. <laughs> Tywin. No, man, I'm only kidding, man. I'm kidding. I'm only joking now, lads. Don't take it offensive, man. Don't take it offensive. I, I, I don't... I don't... Um, I don't, I'm only joking, man. I'm just being dramatic, just for dramatic sake, you know? Trying to get a hit off with Gerard, lads. <sighs> Delayed the pass just a fraction. Go on, go center, go center, go center, go center, go center. Lovely. Now Leo. Ah, oh, Leo. Lovely touch. Lovely ball. He's always going center, lads. Oh man, why did Bergomi stop? Well on Stevie. Ah. Great ball. Didn't expect it. Alrighty. Lads, I mean, like, what am I meant to do there, man? With all due respect. Playing against a good opponent. And that shit's happening to you, man. With Saviola, of all players. That's crazy, man. And there's some people that will tell me now that that's a skill issue, man. Ah, oh, man, I couldn't release the trigger, man. I couldn't pull the trigger. Oh, my God, man. This is crazy. This is actually crazy, man. Oh, my God, man. The player switching. What a tackle. What a ball. Oh! Oof, man, that's crazy, man. I'm going to have to rewind that back and have a look at it. That is so frustrating, man, with that chance with Baggio there. Lovely ball. Terrible pace on the pass, though. GG's, man. GG's. Now, look, I want to show you something here, boys, right? This isn't about making excuses, man. This isn't about making excuses. But just watch this passage of play here. Watch this passage of play here. Yo, Casper, what's up, brother? Watch this passage of play, man. Watch Bergomi here, number one, when I intercept this. Look at this. Look at Bergomi here. What's he doing? Look. Intercept. Lovely tackle, Maldini. Hit him on the counter. Look at this. This is number one. Look. Like, what is that, man? What is that? Oh, this guy is a good... This guy is a good player, man. But, like... You can't contend. That's, that's, that's number one, right? That's number one. That's exhibit number one. Exhibit A. 
Another one. Look at the gap Maldini leaves here when I'm trying to get control of him. This is all in the same passage of play. Look where Maldini is right here. Look. Look where Maldini is right here with the AI. I'm on Stevie G. Look at Maldini's positioning. Look when I switched him. I'm trying to drag him back and he drags forward and I have to make a brilliant manual save. Again, watch this here. Watch this with Maldini. And just pay attention to when the AI is positioning Maldini to when I flick to him. Okay? Watch what I do when I flick to him. I'm not pushing forward with Maldini. I'm, the AI brings him forward. I can't control Maldini here. Look. Watch. See? Now I make the manual tackle, all right? Again, lovely ball to Bergomi. Rafael Leao. Okay, that's a poor ball in. Again, we're trying to intercept him. We're trying to play. He's trying to play a bit of possession. We're bottling him up. He gives a bad pass. We're trying to intercept him. Nice possession play. Again, Maldini goes out. We shoulder charge. Put the ball into a really dangerous area. Could have given it first time there, but instead we recycle. Lovely dribbling. Absolutely rinse him in the deep waters. Rinse him with Saviola. Square the ball into Baggio. Baggio's here. He takes an extra touch when I pass when I used to kick the ball. Look. Look at this, man. Look. I'm trying to kick the ball here. Right here. And he takes another, he takes an extra step. Look. He takes an extra step. That only happens when there's input delay in the games. Look. You'll say, oh, you should have shot, you should have shot, you should have shot. And I'm telling you, I did shoot. This is the problem. What you're seeing and what I'm, I'm doing is different. I'm not turning in with Baggio the second step. I'm turning in to cut the angle, yes, because I don't want to shoot my left foot. But look, I could have squared it there to Trent, but it's terrible, man. It's terrible. It's so frustrating. Another really good tackle. Lovely with Leao. Ball back in. Good inter interception. That's just part of the game. No complaints with that. Lovely little passage of play here. I intercept him again. He plays back. He's going to switch it. And now he's going to be chance again. We tried to shoot, lads. We tried to shoot. We tried to shoot, lads. Look, I mean, the power bar comes up, boys. It's, it's so annoying, man. It's so annoying. That's the biggest thing. Obviously, we probably didn't, uh, you know, have too many complaints other than that. But that is super frustrating right there. And especially in the fact that he does do a good manual. He is controlling this player. But I should have already shot that ball. If I shoot and he intercepts it or it blocks it or I hit the post or his goalkeeper saves it, I'll live with that. But that's frustrating when you rinse somebody, man. That frustrates when you rinse somebody. Like, I'm shooting there, and he takes an extra touch to wind up the leg. I know you've inertia, and I know you've all that. But it only happens when it's there, man. It only happens when there's input, input delay there. This guy was 142 passes. But for all intents and purposes, man, a lot of his passes were quick passing that were going nowhere. No, Top Gun, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. I said it from the very first chance. Uh... I said it from the very first chance. Again, this is not taking anything away from this opponent, lads. He's a really good player. Top 100 before in the world. Really good player. Very, very, very strong opponent. There's no shame in drawing games or losing games against guys like this. This guy could have beaten me. I played well. I'm playing possession. I'm playing a different formation. I'm playing three at the back. Very, very, very good opponent. There's no problem with the draw. It's the things like that that frustrate me. No, lads, I'm, what I'm saying to you is that the gameplay at the moment um, is so dependent on connection, it's unreal. Now, I'll tell you when I know, bro. I know, I know, brother. Uh, Top Gun, scripting is different. DDA is different. All that sort of stuff is different.
That's the video for the showtime. <clears throat> yeah, there is a, there is an issue. Oh, Danny boy, you're this guy, man. You're stream sniping me, bro. I know by a fact, man, that this guy is stream sniping me, man. I know for a fact. I know for a fact, man. Oh, he's wearing the Italy kits. They're nice, in fairness. And I know he plays meta, meta, meta. You know what now I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Because watch. Remove. Done. Simple. Get out. Get off. The wig only comes out in extreme circumstances. <laughs> Taiwan all, all the time, man. All the time. Ron, don't go back there, bro. Don't go back there, please. <laughs> bum, bada, bum, 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 bada, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Do you know what you saw, right? Yeah, Lucas, he keeps sniping me, bro. And I don't mind somebody sniping me, but yeah, I just, like, it's just a waste of time, man. It's just a waste of time. Oh, no, boys, we're in trouble already. Romario's good, but not the new one. I haven't got the new Romario because we have the old school Romario. Oh, that's a dead, dangerous ball, lads. We needed to win it. We did. We were lucky. Ah, good tackle from Araujo. Oh, man, Araujo's going to kill me today. Araujo should be up for attempted murder after that tackle. Lovely. DVG. Slip to Romario! Boom! That's what you need, lads. See the difference in Romario. I keep telling you, man, it's a goal a game. I keep telling you it's a goal a game. <clears throat> Ultimate Gamer, I'm glad, bro. I'm glad. Listen, man, don't take the streams too seriously, man. I don't take myself seriously, so I hope you guys don't either. It's all a bit of crack, man. Video games are meant to be fun. I think that's been forgotten for a lot of people. You know, that play like their lives depend on it, man. And listen, I'm not, I'm not having a go at people. Like, everyone can play how they want to play. Every, everyone can play video games how they want to play. But video games are meant to be fun, man. You know? It's not that deep. Good goal. I love Romario, man, but it's it's almost not fair when I play with him because I know it's a goal of game. That's the truth of it, Lucas. Like, it, like, because I don't I don't care about winning and I'm more about testing things. Oh, sit down, Rajo. Oh, that's grand. You'll, you'll you'll eat me up anyway. Oh, what a pass. Oh, no, man. What a, what a pass. That was an unbelievable pass. That was a brilliant pass there, right? Right here. He didn't want to watch it. That was a brilliant pass, man.
that all came from the pass, which I can admire. That was a lovely, lovely pass. Oh, G, Stevie G. I'm just getting swamped in midfield, man. Oh yeah, do your tricks now. Do your tricks now when you're 2-1 up. Nice, cute. You'll see now in a minute what happens. Lovely. Little slip. Little slip! Oof. That was nice. That was a lovely goal he scored, lads. <laughs> Matthias, enjoy work, bro. Enjoy work. I'll be going back to work soon as well. No, but honestly, man, I just feel like if, if that's what you enjoy, see, there's a difference between if you enjoy winning and, like, playing every match as if your life depends on it, then that's brilliant, man. You know, everyone, there's different levels to everything, you know? There's different game types of gamers. There's casual gamers. Um, there's people that play for fun. You know, I'm not sure. I, I don't have the definitive way of playing. I know what works for me, and it's having a bit of crack, testing out things. That's all. That's what I enjoy doing, man. And learn it from your mistakes. Nice. Oh, yeah, the skill comes out now when you're 2-1 up. Cute. So cute. What a ball, Romario! Stevie G! Oh, what a save. Oh, Romario's unreal, man. Nigel, it's pretty much the same, bro. It's pretty much the same. The update, there's very little gameplay update. From what I can feel, man. Nice header. Oh, the gap, man, I didn't even... That's so frustrating, man. The tree at the back with possession. That's so frustrating there, man. Maldini just literally just parted. Come on, bro, will ya? Jesus Christ, man. Oh my God. It means so much to people, man. Jesus Christ, like, just play the game, man. Ah, oh, that would have been lovely. Nice, well dealt with. Lovely Stevie G. Oh, lovely. What a pass from Ronaldinho, lads. That's what he does. Ah, it's frustrating, man. Oh, we blocked him well there. Nice. Nice. Araujo. Spam forward. Oh my god, what a... As my passing is atrocious today. Oh my god, thank god. Uh, Lucas, honestly man, they're, they're, they're crazy man. They're crazy. But as you see here man with the game, you saw what Ronaldinho there. There's a lot out of your control as well, you know? Arrow, what's up, brother? Yeah, but I don't mind people. There's a difference. If, you, if you're if you going for try hard, then have at it, man. You know? I don't ever, like, have a problem with somebody try hard mode. That's how they want to play, and that's what they get enjoyment out of. Then so be it, man. That's their decision. It's not for me, personally, because it's a video game. Video games are meant to be fun. But if that's fun for them, it's a different kettle of fish, you know? 
Araujo, you got absolutely schooled. Oh, we were looking for a Mario. We just did a bit too much salt and pepper on it, I think. Lovely. Lovely spread, lads. Lovely ball back post! Oh, my days! What a miss from Saviola. The new England kid is, yeah. Uh, Gary, it's pretty much the same, bro. It's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same. They haven't tweaked anything to gameplay from what I've seen. The high points are still high. The low points are still low. I don't know, man. That's the sort of stuff that frustrates me in the game, though. Is that sort of stuff. Mario's cooking, lads. Nah, you can't take on Maldini in those angles. Oh my god. I didn't even see Piero there, boys. That's my bad. Keep running. Ah, Ronaldinho let me down. Ronaldinho's been poor today, boys, which is unlike, un, unusual for him. Oh, man, that pass was meant to go. Why is Figo taking that, man, with that, that sort of angle? It's such a strange angle of a shot. And again, straight down the middle when we're trying to go to, out wide. That's better. Oh, deep waters. You're not wearing your life jacket. Yo, Amarok, welcome in, bro. Yeah, but Lucas, honestly, bro, if I was playing competitive, I mean, this guy is playing as if his mother has been held at ransom. You know what I mean? He's playing it as if his mother has been held at ransom and he has to win. Three sitting CMFs and DMFs. Oh, no, it's Tywin. Listen, man, it's never about you, like... He's a good player. Like, there's no, there's no argument with the good players, man. As I said, nobody, nobody is forced to play the game a certain way. I don't have the definitive way to play this game. Just because I say like, oh, they should play the game this way or they should play the game that way. Nobody has a definitive way to play the game. It's, it's up to yourself. Honestly. That's the long and short of it. Yeah, but most people that want to play like that, credit, like fair play to them, man. I don't have an issue. If somebody wants to play like that, they can play like that. Danny, I'd say you're after changing your t-shirt four times, brother. Come on now. Come on now. I'd say you're changed your top about four times, bro. I'd say you're dehydrated, man. I'd say you need to get some fluids in ya. <laughs> No, but everyone can play differently, boys. This is the thing. Just because I want to play possession um, and, like, compose play doesn't mean everybody else needs to. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean that my way is right or my way is more pure, you know? That's just a fact, man. Everyone has a different uh, enjoyment level with the game. Oh, good block. Very good block, Neymar. Great pass. Hullet playing out wide right. Interesting. Nice dribble. Going over though. Gerard. 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 
Ah, oh, Stevie G, man, he just got blown out of it. We blocked it, though. Come on, man. Oh, my days, man. What a bad pass. Holy smokes, man. <clears throat> yeah, sit down there and eat some grass, Danny. Sit down, you look hungry. Lovely ball, lovely spread. I give up, man. I give up. Jesus Christ almighty, Danny. What are you at, brother? We would have, had, we'd have time for another hours long stream if you, if you just hurry on, man. Oh, mother of God, lads. A true ball, imagine. That's nice, TV. Oh, no, man. No, Barry. Lovely miss. Lovely. Oh, sat him down. Lads, Cannavaro is unreal, man. His strength is amazing. Oh, Vieri, you have to win that. No, ref. Lovely. Just for the break. Oh. <clears throat> Did it Jose Mourinho time wasting going on here? Oh man. Lovely. Give me a chance, ref. No, Barry. Jeez. Oh man, that's a pity, man. That's a pity. <clears throat> GG's, man. GG's, Danny. GG's. Man, I need to get some fluids into me. I was so sweaty that game. Two draws, lads. Two draws. Against high rank opponents. Uh, I play passes is too. I play passes is too. No, not bad, lads. I do like Pep, but I feel like that Pep has a couple of limitations. Namely because of this. Look. When attacking, players maintain tight position positioning to maximize the effectiveness of sharp passing. Keep a high defensive line to put pressure on the opponent. That's the biggest problem, man, is the, defensive, is the defensive line. I found that three or four times in this situation here. I found that a few times with this. Which is a pity. Because with long ball counter, look how deep you are. You're very, very deep. <laughs> exactly, Kara. That's the problem with Pep, lads. There's too much space there at the back. If you're playing long ball counter, you don't need to worry about that. Quick counter is the same as possession. Look. Neil, it's not even that, bro. It's just the way that the game is. Like, these are my center backs. 90 speed. Maldini, 84 speed. Aldair, 82 speed. But if you're playing three at the back with possession, it's a no-no. It's a big naughty-naughty. But that was a good game, and we played like we played a good game there. Two good games against two, um, you know, very streamlined meta-style players. 
Stop thinking of meta as a dirty word, lads. Meta is not a dirty word. Meta is using the most effective tactics at your disposal, the most effective players and the most effective playstyle. It's all about quick possession, turnover of possession, quick possession all the time. Yeah, well, we have Tommy Yashu here as well. Uh, this Tommy Yashu is 88 speed, 96 aggression, 99 defensive engagement, 99 tackling. Yeah, you're right, Lucas. He is mobile. But because I've played 15 matches with this starting lineup, um, I wanted to test out Pep and just to be able to compare Pep. You know what I mean? And I think I've seen enough in that two games, three games. Yeah, but most people, uh, high, high rank Neil, play quick possession, you know? I'm going to do a Pep video as well. I had the Xabi Alonso video already done. This is my Bergomi build. 90 speed, 99 tackling, 96 aggression, 99 engagement, 00287016. Nah, but listen, man. Don't take it too seriously uh, when I complain about people playing sweaty or anything like that. You know, it, it is what it is, man. It's only a mess. Like, anyone, everyone can play this video game. I'm not the gatekeeper to say that everyone needs to play with 70% possession and not sweat, you know, the ultimate pass assist. I, I'm not the gatekeeper on it. Anyone can play well however they want to play. Yeah, but Gomi the homie is a really good centre back. But, but, again, it goes without saying. This formation that I'm using here at the moment... If, if somebody invited me to a tournament and they were like, right, there's a thousand quid on the line for the, for the prize winner. I wouldn't play this formation. I wouldn't play this formation. Just simple as that. I just would not play this formation. I wouldn't play Pep. If you're looking to get more wins, don't veer away. I'll show you the current, uh, like, most effective formation. And it's going to be this. Alonso, 4-2-1-3. Three center backs with a right back that can either play. Like, that's probably what I would play. I would switch Ambrosini for Vieira. That's probably what I would do there. I'd have Makalele. Or else, if I wanted to be a little bit more uh, out there, I would potentially do this. <clears throat> I would put. I would potentially do this if I was playing like a hardcore game. I'm playing a hardcore game. If I was playing this. You're very settled at the back. You can switch out Bergomi to Homie with any of these. You can switch him with Costa Corta. And Costa Corta as a right back or a CB is going to be uh, 98 overall. Saliba, if he's down, he's got 90 speed. Maldini, 84. You've got your passive buildup. You've got your destroyer. And you've got your defensive fullback and defensive fullback. All of these are the same, man. All of these are the same. So, like, that is going to be where it's at, man. That's going to be where it's at. If I was playing for, like, a one-off match, and then I would probably swap out, I would probably put, because I like playing with Romario, I would probably put... Yeah, I would potentially put Romario in here. And then on my bench, then, I'd have a bit of variety. I'd have a bit of variety. No, Amarak, because most people don't play Ariel into, into their centre-backs. Because what you're doing when you have a tree at the back that are all playing centre back. Look, I'll show you. I'll show you. If you're playing any football league and you notice the top ranked players, watch. Top ranked player. There will be alterations to this. But what's our meta checklist? Four centre backs or else three centre backs in a defensive fullback. Rank one in the world. Boom. 
Costa Corta, Nesta, Delict, three centre backs, Wambasaka is a fullback. Defensive fullback, probably the best defensive fullback in the game. Three centre forwards up front, Davavia to be able to score from anywhere. Bellingham and Casemiro as your workhorses and ball winners. You can drop it anywhere, man. You can go in anywhere. Any of these cards, any of these players, top 20 in the world, you go into another card. Ten Hag, three centre backs. Effectively, he's playing a 4 3 3. Three centre midfielder, or yeah, three centre midfielders with Deco, Vieira, and Silva. Double pivot, Vieira, and Gilberto Silva. Messi, Shevchenko, Ribri up front. Three centre backs, Maldini, Araujo, Bergomi, Costa Corta. You can swap Costa Corta out and play him as a left back. Araujo can play right back with, instead of Bergomi. You can alternate it the whole time and swap it the whole time. And if you are playing any of these here, any of these formations that you have here, it's all going to be the same similar feeling. Trent as the outlier here, but Nesta, Saliba and Costa Corta. Single pivot, single DMF with Vieira. Kimi and Kaka is your workhorses. Kaka being able to bring the ball forward. You've got Messi big time, showtime. You've got Son as your blitz curler and you've got Samuel Eto'o. It's not a mystery, lads, why people play this way. It doesn't matter if you go anywhere. Anywhere in the top 100 are going to be like this. You just buy random, buy random cards. It's going to be the same checklist the whole time. Again, 3CB, 4CB. Costa Corte and Bergomi, you can swap out. It's the same formation as, as rank 1. He is basically copying rank 1 formation. Net Ripper. This guy, 42 in the world. Forget about the other players. Look at his formation. Right back, Alaba can play CB. He'll probably change to that. Salib, Saliba and Van Dijk, Casemiro. A lot of people using Casemiro now. That looks like a fairly easy enough team. But any of these teams, man, any of these teams that you go through in the top 100, this is the way that the game forces you to play if you want to push rank. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that that's what the game rewards. It rewards you having three centre-backs and an outlet. What I would be doing if I was playing, if it was me, to mix the meta with what works for me, I would probably play three centre-backs and an overloading right midfielder. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If I'm using Trent and I'm using this setup from the rip, okay? I'm probably going to go something similar to this here. Where I've got like three centre-forwards up front. And I would probably do this. This is what a lot of the top rank don't, do, don't tell you right? Well, Sub-Zero, it depends whether it's boring for you or not, bro. Like, for me, if I was playing in a meta tournament where there was money online, like, obviously, you're going to try to give yourself the best opportunity. You can still play a bit of possession, and this is what I would do. I'd have my tree flat at the back, but I would be, if I was playing this, I would play my trees flat at the back here to cover all areas here. As deep as I could possibly go. Okay. I'd have my right back pushed up. Here. I'd have a flat four here. And I'd probably go something along the lines of that. Something along the lines of that. Now, we need to change our team play style here to possession game. Or to quick counter. That's going to bring us all, up, all the way up. And then we also need to change in this. We need to change this to an attacking midfielder just for the overall. It's not a big deal. That's what I would play if I was playing like for that. If I was chasing the game. So you go from Baggio being in a very central position to that. That to that. And what you're doing then is when you're attacking, you're attacking with this. When you're defending, you're switching back to this. I, I would like them to change managers so that you could have two different styles. It'd be a bit of variety. Blitz curler is a skill. It's a skill. It's a skill on certain cards. Salah has it. It's like a curled shot, a finesse shot. Exactly, Amarek. Exactly, bro. Uh, to be honest with you, Saliba is kind of an acquired taste because he's definitely one of these guys that I feel is... Um, I feel like that he's 
a card that Saliba has got everything on paper, but he's a little clunky. I don't know what it is about him. I don't know what it is about him, man. There's something about him. I have noticed that Klaus pressing is more intense than Xavi's. Definitely feel the difference between the two. Yeah, it depends, man. It depends. Depends what way you feel them. Feel with the players. <clears throat> Lucas, what time is it over there, bro? Neil, good, good luck with the probe, man. Good luck with the probe. Like the first episode of South Park. I, I'm a big fan of Saliba, but I definitely would prefer... Um, lads, I find it very hard to bench Maldini, even though he's a destroyer. But as, as, as El Presidente said in the last match, like Aldair and, um, Aldair and any of these guys, they're very, very, very crazy to get the ball back. You know? Sometimes speed could be a little bit out of the way as well. Like what Lucas was saying, I thought I saw you, you say it earlier, Lucas. Um, the, the AI now is slightly different. It's slightly different. With destroyers. Just slightly different. Like it's... Like if you're having Aldair and Maldini here... I think you're at you're 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 in dangerous territory. That's why I would much rather prefer to have Bergomi who can play CB uh because he's a defensive fullback. Lucas, 5 p.m. You must be wrecked, man, are you? You must be wrecked. Schlang been working overnight. <laughs> Lucas, I swear, man, you're gonna get you're gonna get banned. <laughs> you're filthy! I, I think Maldini's the best pound-for-pound pound CB in the game. The problem is, as Lucas said, in the last few updates, they've made destroyers very kamikaze-ish. They, they, they just are honed in on the ball way too aggressively, which is fine. One tip I would give you if you use a destroyer. If you use a destroyer CB, don't manual switch to him. Let the AI do whatever you want. In that last game that we got, right? In this last game here that we scored... Um, no, not this game, not this game. This one here. Is it this one here? Yeah, look. No, it's not there. Is it this one here? Yeah, it's this one. Look, look at this here, man. Look how aggressive Maldini is. Look how aggressive Maldini is here. This is all AI here. Look at Maldini. I'm not doing Maldini here at all. I'm on, because I switch manually, you might ask what manual switching does, what manual defending does. A lot of people will hold that, will control a passive player and won't switch to the player that the ball is closest to and let the AI defend from. When I pass the ball here, I'm still controlling Rafael Leao and then I switch to Maldini. Watch Maldini and how aggressive he is here. Just watch. In real time. Watch Maldini here. Look. Because he's a destroyer. Watch. I switched to Maldini and he already has the ball won back for me. That's very little input for me apart from I press shoulder charge. Because I knew that I wouldn't get called for the shoulder charge with the angle that I was at. But with this guy defending me here, right, from that interception here, this guy is not manually defending. Look, he's staying passive with Theo Hernandez. If that was me defending me, I would be already switched to Marquinhos or to the other player that he has out there. Instead, he's switching in here with Theo Hernandez. This is what I mean about letting the AI defend for you. Because the AI is so aggressive at the moment and they don't make mistakes. Now he calls the double and he switches to Rodri who's his DMF. I put him in the blender, he switches, he switches. He's staying, letting the AI be passive in the middle. And then he switches to Theo Hernandez. He actually makes a mistake here with Theo Hernandez. Look, he makes a mistake here with Theo Hernandez. But obviously because of the little bit of an input delay, I can't punish him. Look, he actually makes a mistake manually here. He, he actually closes off the gap there because he thinks I'm going to run straight in. I make the pass, he calls a teammate press, I make the pass. He's completely out of position and then he switches out. And it's too late. 
I make a good block. Lovely passage of play again. And then he makes, a, makes the break with uh, Marquinhos. But that is a big issue that when you are using them, uh, players. Yeah, but Pestiles, they've changed it. They have changed it. If you're playing three at the back, the destroyers are just super hone and missile now. Not with four at the back. Yeah, yeah, they will. They will stay back. If you, like, if I was playing this here and I was playing individual instructions, if you're playing defense and you play defensive on him or deep line on Vieira, right? And then for attacking, if you play defensive on Maldini and you play defensive on, say, let's just say that this is Aldair. But if you play, like, defensive on Maldini and you can also, when you're in game, if you want to, you can put tight marking or man marking on the farthest forward center back. Or centre midfielder. This Romario build Garrett is here. That's his stats. That's his build. If you're a good finisher, take three out of shooting. So you would be getting two into shooting. That will free up four points. And you can put those four points into... There's nowhere else really to put them. But I'd probably pop one more into acceleration if you wanted to. Or dribbling. You could pop two more into dribbling. But that's his build there. So if you are a good finisher, I overshot with the finishing there because I want him to be 93 because I was just testing out something. But I would pop two into shooting, 12 into dribbling or whatever you can get, and then the rest into there. Probably only get 11 into dribbling, 10 into dexterity, 10 into lower body, and one into aerial strength or, pa or passing. But I would definitely try the 93, 94 finishing of him. But yeah, listen, I prefer to use different formations. That's just me. That's just me. Like, that's why we're testing out Pep. We're testing out different things. This is not like an eSports Division 1 top 200 push, top 50 in the world push formation or tactical setup. You need to tweak it a little bit. So as we talked about, and as Pez Style said, defensive on Vieira. Deep line on Vieira if you want to as well. That's going to help back that when Vieira is shifting back, when you're out with defending, out defending, or you're out from a counter-attack, Vieira is pulling back into a position that's more defensive. That frees up the little spot for Maldini to, to vacate. And then obviously when you're in-game, you can either put defensive on Maldini, or instead of deep line on uh, Vieira or counter-target on Ronaldinho, when you're in-game, you can actually put man-marking or tight-marking. So you could put Maldini, if I was facing up against the top rank in the world, right? This guy, Jansu, Jansu or Jansoy, um, if I'm facing this guy here and I'm going for a sweat mode with him, I would probably put man marking on Maldini on uh, Eto'o. And I would probably put deep line on Vieira so that Vieira would pick up Messi and Maldini's going to pick up uh, whoever I put man marking on. And again, that is obviously dependent on how much manual defending that you, that you are. If you want to get more wins at the moment you don't need to manually defend as much. You're better off just leaving the AI control the line and control how they actually operate. Figo build is up on the channel, Brian, as usual. He's clunky, yeah. He's He has... Saliba is an insane player. There's no doubt about that. He's an insane player, but he's very, very clunky in my opinion. Like, if you look at his stats compared to Maldini... Obviously, he's a build-up versus a destroyer, so you've got a passive uh, playstyle. 85 heading, Maldini beats him, smashes him. Speed, 6 plus for Saliba, excellent, but not massively, massively noticeable on the pitch with the way the AI is if you don't manually defend, which a lot of people don't. Jumping, smashes him. Saliba's not good over, you know, the high ball, but most 90% of people don't play a high ball anyway, so it's all good. The free reset's not back, no. Uh, stamina, similar. Defensive awareness, tackling, very similar. Aggression, very similar. Defensive engagement, similar. They're very, like, placebo, plus one, plus two, plus three, whatever. The real trick, I think, for Saliba here versus Maldini is the fact that even though they're the same weight, Saliba is, is a lot taller than him, so he feels a lot clunkier. It's the same with Aldair. Aldair is 183. Bergomi is 184. I'll give you a little test, right? I'm like a teacher now. But I'll give you a test. If you're struggling with Saliba, switch to somebody that's a little bit like Marquinhos, that's a little bit more mobile, and you'll notice a lot better, um, like, kind of moving around, shifting around a little bit. 
Yeah, definitely pistols. I would also say that this is a very, very good formation at the moment as well, which a lot of people are still using, is this. So obviously forget about the personnel, but a lot of people are using this here. If you're using, you can either switch to, and I'll show you what most people are actually using now, um, if you've got a double pivot. Now obviously we don't train, we haven't uh, Rykar trained up here, but we'll slap him in. Because obviously we're going to be using Rykard, even though, like, if I was playing, you know, obviously for all the chips, we would have Rykard trained up, right? So what a lot of people are doing now is Pestile says, 3 CB, 3 DMF. And you have an outlet then whether you want a right midfielder or you want two central or two AMFs. That's what a lot of people are using now. So you create a lot of artificial space here. Now obviously we would take Trent out here and we would put in somebody a little bit more passive. Um, that can kind of get around the pitch. Ribery be a good option. We'll just stick Ronaldinho in there for the time being. But essentially what you're doing is here, you're creating a very nice vacuum of space for your players to operate. So you've got your bank of five here. So you're effectively defending with five, with, with um, individual instructions. You can put defensive on Maldini as your destroyer. Bergomi and Tommy Ashu are defensively sound. Deep line on Vieira. You can also put deep line on Rijkaard. You can also put defensive on Rijkaard or Vieira, depending. Deep line is one that I think a lot of us will disagree with. Because you can ask five people and there'll be five different, five different arguments towards it. But that is essentially what you were operating there. And a lot of people now are using this to pick up a pocket of space here, they're using like an all-rounder. So because Mbappe can play AMF, you're just slotting him in here and putting your two center forwards up there. It's kind of like... Um, what you're essentially doing is you're playing all the way up here. You know? All the way up here. Three CB, two DMFs, three AMFs, but also three center forwards. You know? That's, that's where it is. That's where the meta is at the moment. Yeah, Royal Striker, he is, bro. He is, bro. He is. Jonah, you're back! Welcome back, brother! Welcome back! Jonah, we're, we're, you're back, brother! Thank you, man. I appreciate the views, man. I appreciate it. I feel like you need a hug, man. Here, here's a virtual hug. Ah, bliss. Ah, that's nice, Jonah. Very cuddly. Very cuddly. Very cuddly. Very cuddly. Smell a bit like cheese, though. You know? Smell a bit like cheese. Nah, we love Jonah, man. We love Jonah. Jonah, welcome in, brother. Welcome in again. You've never left. You've never left, man. But yeah, that is that is something as well, like what Pez Styles was saying. Um, if you've got a double pivot here, you can always switch it up. So if somebody sees this and they're like, right, it's going to be very central. Like, everything is going to be blocked here. Everything is going to be blocked. But you can use sub-tactics to your disposal here, at your disposal here, with a sub-tactic that's going to make your centre-backs here be still very, very viable. Now, this is where Rijkaard comes in. Because what you can do is if you want to hold on to a lead, you can switch to a more traditional meta. Like this. Where you're still going to be very centrified, but I would probably go double pivot there, take off Rijkaard. So when I'm making this sub, I'm going to take off Rijkaard. Or sorry, take off Baggio. Take off Baggio here. <coughs> And then that's as simple as that, that when you take off Baggio with your sub-tactic here, you've now got your, you know, your double kind of DMF again. So for example, I'd make that switch, I'd go in, I'd make that switch, and then we're going to be calling in our sub-tactic. And then obviously you've got Makalele and Vieira there. Boy, come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Jonah, I gave you a hug, brother. Don't be sad, man. Don't be sad. Don't be sad, bro. You're welcome in here. You're welcome in this stream, man. 
You're my, you, I'm, I'm trying to teach you the ways, man, of eFootball. I'm trying to teach you the skills, man. I'm trying to show you behind the scenes of how to get more wins, how to dominate opponents, and how to stop smelling like cheese, man. But yeah, that is kind of something that I would do as well. And there's also the anti-meta then as well, if you want to go that. That's the OG meta here with, with Jabby. That's never going to go out of fashion, lads. It's going to be like denim jeans. It's never going out of fashion. Ever. Because it's just so, so effective. Is it going to be the difference between you winning and losing games? Potentially. Every now and again. But it's very sound. It's a very sound formation. Especially if you've got the right personnel. I'm a big fan of one chase in DMF and one blocker. No matter who they are. Joan has never left the chat, I'd say. Yeah, well, Romario, lads, is unreal. Like, I'll show you one thing, right? As we end this stream, lads. Because I gotta go back to work, man. I gotta go back to work. Unfortunately. A lot of the older cards are better. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> Jonah, we've reached Division 1 multiple, multiple times. Multiple times, brother, which just shows your ignorance as to what we do on the channel, man. We've reached the event. We've reached Division 1 multiple times, man. But don't let truth get in the way of uh, you trying to be a, a troll, man. A second, a second, a second tier troll. Jonah, why are you saying bye? You're not going anywhere, brother. You've been in the chat all the time, man. I can see who's been in the chat and not. I know you're trying to look for tips, man. We'll give you loads of tips. Oof. Come in! What did you say? To use the Italian kits? I can use the Italian kits. Yeah, well, the anti-meta is never going to... Or the meta is never going to go out of fashion, lads. Ever. Ever. You say it Italy kits are nice. Yeah, they were nice in that last game. <laughs> oh, lads, I love the banter, man. Someday we will reach Division 1, lads. Someday. Someday. I can only pray, man. I can only pray. The Italian kit, yeah, it is nice when we played against it. Uh, if Kaka comes, Gary, I will. I will, yeah. Pesos, it's pretty much the same setup the whole time, man. It's pretty much the same setup. Like, it'll never go out of fashion. Ever. I don't think. Like, the double pivot is always going to be effective. Always. It doesn't matter. This guy's probably using it. Again, look. Double pivot. Three center backs. Left back Carlos. Messi, Ronaldo up front. I like this, man. I like this team. For this game, we'll bring in Costa Corta. Casillas... Carlos, Trent, Messi, we don't have a Mario, do we? Nah. There's no real changes though, bro, no. I will spin for Kaka, yeah, Gary, as I said. They will bring some good versions of the game, or of the cards, most definitely. It depends who's having a good season then as well, but they'll definitely have a couple of legends that they'll have locked in, because they'll know that they'll get, they'll get lots of spins.
<clears throat> well, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with the SS. There's a lot of stuff. Two good chances. This guy's in, in trouble, lads. The deep waters. Oh my god, that should have been a penalty. Have to make it. And we didn't. Now we did. Oof. 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 That one tackle away, one slip away. Adio. Liao. Oof. We're getting lots of space. Do you see, like, with this formation, it's just so complete. It's so complete. Yeah, Kaka will be good, Gary. Will you spin for him, bro? Oh, lads, Tommy Yasu is just built different, man. He's naughty. Naughty, naughty. Oh, my God, Laf Rafael Leao. What is he doing, man? That's a horrible pickup. Lovely header. Again, Tommy Yasu, lads. Come at me, lads, when I say that Tommy Yasu is the best de de uh, defender in the game. I don't care what you say. He's my number one choice all the time. Give me the free, man. Yo, break and all. Welcome in, bro. Break roll. Yeah, I think that... I think a lot of people will spin for him. This could be a banger, lads. Ooh! Oh, baby! What a goal from Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. What a goal. What a stunner. What a winner in the golden goal, man. Fantastic goal. Oh, man, it's made him sit down. Made him sit down. What a goal, lads. I don't know, can he skip that replay, but we're making, we're milking it. We're milking it. That's one of my best free kicks. I'm going to do a free kick tutorial soon, man. Uh, Marcus, I have that up my channel, bro. Boom. Oh, baby. The angle. It's all about the angles, lads. I think I've played that guy. You know what? I think I played that guy in the last stream, you know. Jeez, the boys are really milking it, aren't they? Messi's really milking it. 71% possession. Oh, we just dominated, man. I think I played that guy. Was... No, it's not him. Division 4. No, no, it wasn't him. I'm nearly sure I played against a guy like that before. <clears throat> the angle of the dangle exactly Scotty yo football lad welcome in bro Welcome in, brother. 
Adriano, why doesn't he make moves? Adriano is a difference. Like, Adriano is clunky. You've got two options up front, not to overcomplicate it. You've got two options up front, and the chat can weigh in on this as well. And they can, you can overcomplicate it, and you can make it as much as possible. Um, you know, but I'll, I'll give it to you straight, un, uncomplicated. You've got two decisions, right? If you are playing a center forward up front that is not run and gun, the best way is to play somebody like Rafael Leao. Rafael Leao is tall, but he can dribble. But he's a different build. He's a different kind of movement set than Messi or Saviola or Baggio or Romario or Songkrasen or Neymar or so on and so forth. Zamorano is kind of similar as well. Anyone that's under 180 is going to have that tight possession style dribbling. Maradona, Mbappe, Zamorano, Raul. And then obviously stats control it. But for players that are over 180, they can still dribble, but they'll be able to actually have a different play set. If that makes sense. This guy's playing rank 1 formation. No, it's no free. Uh, football, I welcome in, brother. But we have no uh, free Romario, no. Yeah, I seen something. Can somebody... Lou, uh, you friends with me on PSN or somebody send, uh, able to send me on that free card that they gave? The guy with the glasses and the hat. Some influencer or something, is it? Man, imagine if Konami messaged me and they were like, Oh, we want to put you in as a special card. Oh, man. That would be amazing. All right, let's put this guy to the sword now, lads, because I, I need to get some lunch. Oh, yeah, shoulder charge me. You're dangerous. You're a dangerous. You're in da dangerous territory. Can somebody send me that card? Because I haven't seen it. Oh, Messi. <sighs> lads, we're on fire with the free kicks off the post. Lou, send me a friend request there, man, and send me the picture. I'll add you. If you want, if you can. Messi's gonna hit this, lads. Oh, no. See what I mean about Saliba, lads? He's just that bit clunky. I don't know what other way to explain it. Oof. This guy's panicking in possession. A big, a, a big bit, actually, which is unusual. I don't know what rank he is, obviously. Good hit, good hit, good hit. It's a good ball. Rafael Leao, lovely. Oh my god, man. That's a dangerous pass. Messi. Messi skipping. Adio to Saviola. Oh, we tried to turn him on a sixpence, lads. This could be the goal. Saviola! Messi. Messi's having a great game, lads. Oh, come on, bro. He's, he's, he's holding on by the skin of his teeth and blocking everything that he's putting out at me. Another true pass from Vieira. Now Bergomi. Bergomi to homie, lads. Oh my days, what a bad pass. Harry Kane intercepts. Too slow, Harry Kane. Rafa. On ref. Akalele might have a pop. Oh, Jesus. That was Stevie G, lads. That would have been a goal. 
<clears throat> all good, Lou, all good. We'll have a look at that card if we can. Soon. I take it's a joke, it's a mess card, is it? Like, he's obviously not usable, no? Les, what collaboration would you actually like to see him do? Honestly, no. No joking. Ah, lads, Vieira is different gravy, man. Ooh, good defending. Back, Tommy, it's coming to you. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Nice ball. Barella. Gomi with the little shoulders. Big strength. Ah, unlucky. Yeah, it's 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 specific regions only, yeah. America regions is one. And the passing. Just a fraction off. Oh, you don't pass there. You got away with it. You got away with the passing, lads. Oh, man. We'll take it, lads. It's very scrappy. Messy again, lads. Messy again, man. Where would you like a collaboration to come, lads? Honestly, wh what would you like a collaboration to come? <laughs> Prasser's collaboration. Honestly, do you know what I would like? And this would be a bit mad. I think this would be actually quite cool, but it would be a bit crazy. Um, I would like, you know, like a Metal Gear Solid, like, kit pack. Silent Hill kit pack. Stuff like that. Like, you know, s s like, aesthetic stuff that have no meaning on the gameplay. That is Margot Robbie. Come on now. Don't, don't make me time you out. Margot Robbie is... The ultimate, lads. Come on now. Let's be serious around, around these parts. Name me better. Name me one hotter than Margot Robbie. I'll be waiting. Tick tock. Tick tock on the clock. Nice, Rage. Nice getting a free Romario. Drago, the update is... It's, it's literally just setting the tail for what's coming. They've added a lot of stuff to the database, such as this stuff you're seeing on screen. They've added a lot of that stuff to the database there. They're all placeholder images and all placeholder data that's going to be coming. No opponent found. Come on, I just want one more before we go, to, go for a break. Give somebody a free game. Ah oh man, streamer collab would be class. Imagine if they actually added like four or five content creators into the game. It would be quite cool, man. I'm surprised FIFA haven't done that. I know they kind of were going to. Anna de Armas, Hayley Atwell, Elizabeth Olsen. Mm, not bad. But Margot, lads. No, I don't know. Scarlet Witch is nice, all right. I will say that. Do you know what I watched last night? Godzilla from 2014. Godzilla with Elizabeth Olsen and... Uh, your man in it, Quicksilver from Avengers. They're actually married in it. It's kind of trippy. And Wal uh, Walter White is in it as well. FIFA did it, did it, Drago? Yeah, I was thinking. Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, she's hot, man, but no, not as good as Margot. Natalie Portman. Yeah, can't argue with that. Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> no, Margo Man is just unbelievable.
Oh, Lou, hold on. I, I don't know if I can open Discord. Let me check if I can open Discord on my phone. Ah, oh, he's 65 rated overall. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to save this to my phone. And then open up my WhatsApp and send it to myself or send it to the girlfriend. She won't know what I'm doing. Okay. I'll send it to Kara. He won't know what it is. But I'll be able to open it then on my phone. Okay. So this is the card. Are we in a game? Sorry, I didn't even realize. This is the card that they've added, lads. For anyone that hasn't seen it, thanks to Lou. Lou just sent it there. This is the card that they've added. This card here. Can you see that? It's a free card. Why does my chat keep disappearing, man? Thanks, Lou. Yeah, that's the car, lads, that they added. Oh, this guy's gone full attacking, man. I've played this guy before. I recognize the name. Ronaldo. Yeah, I don't know who that is, man. Is it, It's a social media guy, is it? No, not like that. What a pass. Ah, it's a terrible, terrible pass in the end. Oh! Man, the passing is so bad at those areas. They just really don't want you playing into the air at all. Oh my god. That's why I hate Leao, man. He's just a bit clunkier. Agio. Oof. Simple as that, baby. Oh, Jay Simpson. Oh, lads, if they did release a card, man, imagine, man, imagine me in the game. Oh, my God. I'd have to have a, I'd have to have a unique celebration with the Hoover. If I was in the game, lads, what celebration would you like me to have? I'd have the Hoover as my celebration. Imagine that. You score a goal. And next thing, the celebration, personal. And the Hoover comes out on the pitch. That would, I'm telling you, man, that would be, that would be good. Yeah, me and Collar up front. Oh, that would be a dream. That's the that's the campaign, lads. That's the campaign. I'd definitely be in 150 pack. Yeah, the dumbbell curls as well. We could have the wig. The bicep curl.
Man, the bicep curl would be the best one. The orange wig. <laughs> oh, I thought I had a free, no? Oh my god, I got a free one of these. The last remaining player. Nice. A finisher booster. I'd have a stamina booster. Yeah, and for anyone that missed it earlier, lads, let's just give a quick roundup, right? I'm going to go off there at three. A few more minutes. If you want to see any builds or anything like that, I can do it. If you want to see any builds of cards that I have, I'll show you here. So these are all the players that they've added. Okay? So next week, these are the players that we have. These are the players that we have there. It's going to be a European Club Selection Guardians pack. Nuno Mendes from PSG. Obviously Ederson from City. Antonio Silva. European players. Either playing in the Champions League or the Europa League. And they're all there. Okay? They're obviously going to come in this contract here. The one that's up at the moment is the Spanish League attackers. So that's going to replace that. And then also, these are all the new legends that they've added. All here. Can you guys see those? So Philip Lamb they've added as a brand new card. Uh, Romario, who's there as the, at the moment. Lads, doesn't David Villa look like Jamie Tart there from uh, Ted Lasso? These players are just added to the database, but they don't have any stats or nothing. They are just 40 overall in every stat. They'll probably add the stats either Thursday or else they'll add them when they add the cards. I think they're going to get cute enough um, to lock down the database a little bit more. So they're all the new card assets. Kaka, Iniesta, Torres, Davids... Lillian Toram from uh, Juventus, Dennis Love and Baston, Diego Forlan, all new boosters. There's one blank one here that hasn't been loaded yet. That could be a special player, who knows. Maldini, young Maldini, debutant, probably 1982 or whatever. Uh, Puyol from, uh, and Casillas are there. And then you have all the other legends that are still haven't been released yet, such as Tony Adams and stuff. Saviola we got, Adriana we got, Caesar we haven't got yet. And then you also have these two cards here, which is going to be a young Griezmann and a young or an old Messi, a uh, current Messi. They're going to be brought out as well. So these cards are all incoming. In case you missed that earlier. My build for the new Vinny Jr. Uh, let me check, Ali. I think I have him already built. I'll check for you, bro. This is the build for him, man. 8191460000. Well, as that team that you just saw there with Xabi Alonso with the meta 4213, three CBs and a right back that can play a CB, such as Tommy. It's the meta for a reason. It's always going to be the meta, in my opinion. It doesn't matter what player that you're playing, it's always going to be meta, man. Yeah, so they're all the new cards, lads. In case you have missed those, we'll do... As they come out, we'll do reviews on them. I also have a few videos to come out. So I have this video to come out soon. I'll show you a couple of the videos that I have done um, and that I will be doing. So if you guys are waiting, I have this video to do here. This one is going to be next up. 
the antimatter video. I have an antimatter video coming here um, where we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. We also have, we also have, I think we have an Alonzo. Let me see if I have this video. We've this video ready and locked and loaded as well, ready to go. So we have that one. We have that one. Shout out to Caro for the graphics, lads. Cara is the man for the graphics. We have a meta video on Alonzo. We also have the anti-meta video. We have the player of the week drop, player of the week dropping in about an hour's time. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, we've a couple, we've a couple of videos coming. Uh, Johnny, I haven't actually built Cruyff back up yet. This build of Cruyff here that I have, I don't think I've him rebuilt. Let me just double check for you. I reckon they will do a free reset though soon. They'll have to. This Cruyff here, I have a build up on the channel already. But if I'm playing this Cruyff here, I'm probably playing him as an SS on this side. Or else I'm playing him as an AMF, because he has a whole player. Yo, Emma, welcome in, bro. Oh, it's not current version Messi, is it? It's... Oh, yeah, okay. So this Messi here, he doesn't have an asset yet. It's going to be probably when he first moved there. Griezmann is going to be there as well. Emma, the game is the same, bro. Uh, Daniel, Oblek, just get his reflexes and awareness as high as you possibly can. Uh, Kigo, Johnny, I'll do a quick build of, of Cryf here. Very, very quick build for you, but it depends. Where do you want to build for, AMF or SS? Because there's two very different builds that I have up on the channel. So let me know. Kigo, what's the best double pivot to use out of Rodri, Lorente, Alaba, and Kimmich? I would probably use Rodri, and I would probably use Alaba, the two of those. Alaba off the left, Rodri is a deep sitting DMF. Alaba and Rodri, yeah, I agree with you. One blocker, one chaser. So yeah, Ribri is going to be exciting, I think. We have Ribri Legend card, but that's going to be an exciting card. What version of Ribri is that, lads, when he was number 22? That's an interesting one. If you're playing Re if you're playing Cruyff as a as a attacking mid or as an SS. The only thing you need to do different than an AMF is to get his finishing up as high as possible. Depending on what manager that you have, obviously Cruyff is going to be a right-footed player. So I would probably play him there in that position and then switch Baggio or whoever you want as, an S as a CF. You could have him as an SS there. And then I would switch whoever you wanted there, Messi or whoever can play. You know, If you wanted to go that route, you could do that. With still having Rafael Leao in, who's going to be there, or else you could pop him out for Messi. That's actually very easy, a very easy change. But if you are looking for Cruyff, I would definitely do something like this. Depending on your finishing, the finishing you definitely need to get to at least 85 plus. So for that, we've got 86 finishing. We're going to pop 8 into balance. So 8 into dexterity, straight off the rip. That goes without saying. We're also going to pop probably about 4 into dribbling. We want to get his ball control up to 90 if we can. Speed and stamina is not a big concern, but you do want kicking power. So I'd probably go seven into speed as well. Um, if you can afford it. If you're playing with Ten Hag, you'll only need to go six. So straight off the rip there, you don't need to worry too much about passing with Cruyff because he's, even though he's a whole player, uh, he's not really a passer. You know, that kind of way. His passing is really poor. But that's a very nice build so far. You can pop four more in if you want to talk into dexterity or two into dribbling or else four into finishing. Um, so like you can't go them all into, into that. You can't go them all in, but you can pop two more into dribbling there if you wanted, I think. And that will give you the full 90 ball control. And then off, obviously then as well, if you want to get the finishing up a little bit higher, you can go with that or else you can go with dexterity. I would potentially like to get his dexterity up as high as possible. So then you've got 90, 90, 93, 93, 91 speed, 96 acceleration and 94 balance. And then... Depending on how good of a finisher that you are, 86 is more than enough. You can get another bit in him, 
I would probably go with that if you're playing him as an SS. 11 0 6 11 7. You don't need aerial strength, you don't need physicality, jumping, passing, nothing if you're playing him as an SS. If you aren't a good enough finisher, you could take one out of dexterity or one out of shooting and pop it into uh or sorry. If you're not if you're not the best finisher in the world, you could take one out of dexterity and pop it into shooting or else one out of two out of lower body and pop it into shooting to get it to 90. But that is that is a very good card of Cruyff. So yeah, boys, there are the rest of the cards that are coming, man. There's some interesting ones. Who's your favorite out of them? Who is actually your favorite out of them cards there? Uh, Abby, the new Romario is not worth it if you have a, a card. If you have a card that's similar to Romario. What other cards do you have CF that are running gun? Dallas, welcome in. Ezra, I have a couple of different sub tactics. I will be bringing a full video on it soon. Uh, I would buy Xabi Alonso, Dino. Yeah, I would buy Xabi Alonso. 100%, man. Xabi Alonso is, is unreal. But I would only buy Xabi Alonso if you're playing the 4 2 1 3. I don't recommend 3 at the back with him. I don't recommend um, 4 2 2 2 with him. You can play it, but I definitely recommend all out 4 3 3 with him. Yeah, Albertini could be good. Yeah, no problem, Johnny. LBC never went anywhere. LBC and Quick Counter just do so much for you with the game that they're, they're never going to go anywhere. Ever. So it's always going to be that way, man. Always. No matter what, it's always going to be that way. Long ball counter works for one reason and one reason only. Because you've got one stopper and one chaser. Makalele, 86 speed, 98 aggression, 99 defensive engagement, 99 tackling, and 100 stamina. Chasing the ball all day long, every blade of grass. Vieira as a destroyer. 99 tackling, 95 aggression, 90 speed, 91 physical contact, and 101 stamina. If you wanted to train up Rijkaard, you can train Rijkaard up in a very similar way. Um, this is a really good Rijkaard build, or else if you have Rodri, if you wanted to go with that. The reason why a lot of people prefer Rijkaard over Vieira is, answers on a postcard, because he's an anchorman. You, you, the, the AI will do a little bit more for you than normal. And Rijkaard is a very easy card to build up if you're training him as your stopper or if you're going for a double pivot. You can put Rijkaard as your sitting anchorman and he's not going to need as much speed. So if we're training Rijkaard up here, we know that we can pop maybe what? 13 into tackling? 13 into defending maybe? And still have a lot of points left over. Not even that. We don't even need to go that man. 12 we can go with. That's going to have 92 defensive awareness, 90 tackling, 94 aggression, 95 defensive engagement. We can pop up his physical contact by about four, just to have a little bit of authority in the pitch if you want to. If you don't do a lot of manual defending, you don't need to do that. He's still able to pass. He's got 80 low pass. He's got 82 lofted. He's got 83 heading. He's got 85 physical contact. Speed and acceleration. I would potentially like to, put, like to pop maybe three into acceleration with him. Because I'm not going to be chasing too much with him. He's going to be sitting deep. But I definitely do want to have his speed a little bit better than it needs to be. So 91 stamina, 84 speed. But essentially what you're doing with Rijkaard is you're sitting with him. It's a different style of play. You know? Different style of play, man. That's basically where you need to go with him. Now, I would potentially, with all these points left, you can actually max out his defense very very effectively you can pop five more into defense and still have room left over look you can go 17 into that i think it's overkill i wouldn't go more than 90 95 for any defensive stat so if you pop 17 into that i mean you're really going into uncharted territory for a card that doesn't really need that much defensive capabilities but 97 aggression 95 defensive awareness 93 tackling 98 defensive engagement and then if you want to have a little bit more speed you can even though you're not going to be chasing the ball too much, you can actually go with a little bit more speed. And then you can pop a few more into his aerial ability. Like that. You don't need passing with him. You don't need to bring the ball forward with him. That's a phenomenal card that can also double up as a CB. If you pop him in CB, that's what you're going to be rocking with. 
very, very effective across every aspect of the game. But I definitely think a double pivot is where to go with him. There's no free reset, boys. No, unfortunately. If I want to reset any of these cards here, um, it's going to cost me 600k, isn't it? Yeah. Let me check. 600k, boys. All right, last time showing it, let's for anyone that's joined here as well. You've got Philip Lamb, Romario. You've got all of these new boys. David Villa, Torres, Iniesta, Kaká from Real Madrid. Davids with the goggles. Casillas from the World Cup 2010 winning squad. Lillian Toram is there. Diego Forlan is there. They've added all these to the database and they will be coming out quite soon. Within the next month, I would say. On top of that, we also went through a lot of the stuff that they added today. Um, a lot of the stuff that they added today is here. The free reset is still 600,000. It's not free. The free reset is not back yet. On top of that, they've added a lot of new kits, such as the Italian kit that you see here. They've added all these. Okay. They've added a lot of the European kits. If you want to change kits, you just go into this, into base team, and then you change the kits. Whose kit didn't we check out earlier? Um, was it Croatia you were asking me to check out? But yeah, all the kids, all these kids have, ch have changed. So they're changed, they're new kids. And pretty much you can see any of those. And you can change the kits very easily there. But they've added all of the Europeans. Somebody was saying that they've, they've added the Brazilian kits as well. Is that true? They've added Scotland as well, yeah. Yeah, they're the new Brazilian kits. They're quite slick as well. I like them. I like the Nike's, the Nike template this year. I like the colors, the, the patterns. And the Argentina kit. Man, the Adidas logo is massive. That looks slick though. That looks nice, I'll be honest. They've added these because they're going to be bringing new cards. That's why they've added them. They're going to be bringing a new European and international card pack. They'll probably bring ambassador packs, I reckon. And they also added the English kits as well. Yeah, the Argentina kits are really nice, I'll be honest. What's your favorite kit, lads, now? I think we should do... I'm going to be doing a new video on these new kits. What do you think? Modeled by Saliba. I like the Adidas kits, lads, but the Adidas logo is massive on them. I think I prefer, and I usually prefer the, I usually prefer, I'll be honest, Adidas kits than the Nike ones. But holy moly, man, the, the Adidas logo is massive on them. That looks slick, man. That's like the 1998 one. The Italy kits are probably my favorite, yeah. They've added a lot of them, yeah. They've added a lot of them. Scotland we hadn't seen. Oh man, why do I trip out with that? River Plate is nice. They always have nice kits, yeah. Scotland aren't in. No, Scotland aren't in. Somebody said Scotland went in. I was thinking, no, Scotland and Ireland don't have their kits in the game. I was fully sure of that. Netherlands we checked earlier as well. 
They're Netherlands. See, I like the Nike logo on them. I like that away kit now, lads. I'm a bit of a sucker for those patterns. Wells aren't even here. Oh, they are. I was thinking they were. The Italy kits are lovely. They're lovely, yeah. Wales. Look how big the Adidas logo is, though, man. It's massive. Not gone on the second kit now, I'll be honest, boys. But the home kit is lovely. I love that little pattern from the top to the... Mm. Yeah, I don't know about actually looking at it there now. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? I don't know. No, that's not Romario. That's an old version of Romario, am it? We'll check them all, lads. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. We'll check them all. They don't have them either. They're not, they're not in the game. Let's welcome back, brother. Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream, man. Well, Ireland's kits are actually quite nice this year. Have you guys seen Ireland's new kits? They're actually really nice. Oh, Messi in the Portugal kit. Ronaldo would be puking bleh, into, his, into his hat. They are nice, yeah. I'm a big fan of patterned kits. I actually am a big fan of patterned kits. A big fan. Spain, we've seen. Iceland. I don't think Iceland are in it, are they? Could be wrong. Oh, they're nice. They're Puma. Don't like the second one, though. I don't like that band around it. Looks a bit childish. That one's not too bad. The color colorway is better. Yeah, that's nice. The Icelandic one. I hadn't seen that one. That definitely wasn't added the last time I checked. Uh, did they even have their kit the last time? I'm, I'm not sure. Yo, Sean, welcome in, bro. Portugal, we've we've uh, we've added, man. Portugal, we've seen. It is, Alex. It's like everything, man, in this game. It's way too many steps to go through it. Small issue, though, to be fair. I mean, I don't mind doing this. Like, how often are you going to change your kits? They're unlicensed as well, Montenegro. They're unlicensed as well. Yeah, the new Ireland kits are quite nice. The new, the new Ireland kits are very nice. Very nice. France are nice. I don't think Ukraine are in the game. I don't think so now. I could be wrong. Oh, they are. Joma. Interesting badge location. But quite nice. Do you know what makes it or breaks it with me and a kit? And it's a simple thing is where the badge is located and also how big the badge is because it needs to be there obviously but the colors of the badge mar like matching if that makes sense oh lads i need to go man i'm too i'm late jesus man i didn't realize it was that time all right last one norway we checked them all now i think at this stage Haaland, Haaland. Yeah, the Adidas kits are really weird, I think. That's lovely, lads. Them three kits are lovely. Or them two kits. I love the font. 
I love that kit now, man. That looks very, very slick. What you think? What you think? I like that, lads, but I'm a, I'm a sucker for those type of pattern kits anyway. Yeah, we looked at Spain. We'll look at Spain as our last one, so... We've looked at them all. Germany, Spain. Spains are nice. All right, we'll check two more. That's Spain. See, I like I liked that colorway there. I like the blue shorts, and but I don't know about the badge, lads. And the Adidas logo is massive, man. I don't know about the badge, man. The badge, the logo, the actual manufacturer logo is huge. Massive. All right, we'll finish and show you Germany. Germany always have nice kits. I, I remember buying... What year was it where they had the really nice... Uh, was it 2018? And they lost 7-1 to Brazil. What year was that? I remember I was down... I was actually away at the time. I was over at E3 when I bought that kit. Yeah, I like I liked that kit, man. But I, I like the home kit... But the, the badge, the Adidas badge, is absolutely jamongous. We've all, yeah, they do have England. We've already checked England, uh, Sean. Colombia aren't in it as far as I know, football lad. I, I reckon they should have just brought these kits out as a reward. It would have been nice. It would have been really nice. I would say my probably my favorite kid is the Italian. I think a lot of people will be using that. The Belgium is quite fire as well. The France is quite nice. I love the throwback France uh, one. I do like the throwback France. Uh, Mygnan's not a bad keeper. Man, what am I doing? I love the French kit, lads. The French kit wins it for me. It's so. It's just so simple. Just beautiful kits, man. Knock on in the shorts for them. Like, look, that's an iconic kit. Look, the Japanese uh, 10th to 11th. But that is a very, very nice card. Montenegro aren't in it, brother. Italy is very nice as well. So, boys, that is it for me, lads. We will be back uh, tomorrow, hopefully. We have to see what way we're going to do it. But we will be back tomorrow for a stream. If you haven't subscribed already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you haven't liked the stream, please do. Um, we will be back, obviously, tomorrow. And then we're going to have a load of videos coming out over the next few days. We've a lot lined up. Um, thanks for joining me, lads. Absolutely insane again today. Massive, massive, massive. Uh, viewership again today i will see you guys tomorrow in the stream until then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already please do like the stream and share the stream share it across socials share it across twitter on reddit wherever you want to share it man um but yeah we've been streaming for about four hours that's what we said we do 404 i'm late for work as usual but um, yeah, I think I'm going to get fired soon, man. I might have no choice soon of whether I become a full-time streamer because I, I, I think I'm going to get fired, honestly. Uh, but yeah, we'll be working late tonight. So we'll be working until about 9 o'clock now tonight. But listen, that's what we like to do, man. We like to grind. So I will see you guys tomorrow in stream. Be there. And I will see you guys. We'll go through a few more things. Might play a bit of play player of the week tomorrow, uh, Road to Glory. Until then, I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, we will be back tomorrow. Big shout out as well to the people that sub supported the stream today. Signing up Gary Griffin and Swoosh. Gary Griffin becoming club president and Swoosh becoming a member. So that is it, lads, for me. I will talk to you in a bit. Peace. Lads, I'd love to do a 24-7 stream. Imagine. Imagine.